All right, all right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. All right, let's do a sound check. Hi. Did you miss me? Ah. Hi, I missed you. I've got so many smudges on my glasses right now. <laughs> Hang on. Nice to you know. Yay! Woo!
Sounds perfect. Cool. Do you guys hear an audio difference? How does it sound? Sounds really good, not gonna lie. I was uh, on a phone call with my friend the other day and he was like, it just sounds like you're in my ear. Is that? Is that how it sounds? It sounds like you're licking my ear. Oh, stop, stop, take that back, take that, ugh, stop. I don't want that. I don't want that. Does it sound different from last time? Mike sounds much more open. What the fuck does that mean? Seems like your leveling is better and you sound a lot crisper. Like you're more in person than in, than in stream. What should I say? Give me something to say that's cool to make it sound like... Ban that guy. Ban that guy. Ban outlaw. Outlawed mechs. Never, ever, ever, ever say that shit again. I don't want to hear that. That is, I uh, uh, Okay, no, uh, no, I'm actually gagging. Oh my God. Oh fuck, that was so gross. All right, we're, we're leaving, we're leaving. Uh. Bro, I didn't like that. I didn't like that, I didn't like that. Where am I looking? One sec. All right. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? You're on my wall and also my screen. What's, what's that mean? What does that mean? Um, I've got a side issue here as well. I don't know if anyone can help me with this, but my chat for my OBS isn't coming up. <laughs> Where is it? It says that it's open, but it's not. I can't see it. How, how do you guys move? Um, wait, I'm gonna reset docs. Okay, everyone hold still. We're sending the UI, we'll hide additional docs. You need to unhide, that's fine. Docs, chat. Chat's back. Hey, chat. Hey, I missed you. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. All right, uh, let's change this up to not this. I put Halloween lo fi, but it just feels a little too low. Hi, Shelby. How you doing? It's too low key. Well, how about this one? How come all lo-fi just wants, I just want to go to bed. Vintage Halloween oldies. Nope, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. What a bop. I, I would decorate for Halloween. I love Halloween. Halloween is my, I think my favorite holiday of the entire year, but I'm going to be leaving to the States next week like pretty much one week from today i'm gonna be gone can you guys believe that i'm nervous i'm nervous decorate in the u.s oh <gasps> wait dude philly and i should do pumpkin carving oh shit hold on let me message her right now that was the best idea i've ever had why didn't i think about that oh <gasps> frank in the states of twitchcon fuck yeah are you going to twitchcon frank yo no shot, Frank. Are you going to be there? Welcome back, East Sprite, for 89 months to the tier 3. I appreciate you. You sound so cal. Damn, dude. Damn. Yeah. Oh, Frank, I hope you're doing well. I miss the hell out of you, man. Every now and again, when I see you streaming, I'll, I'll peek in there. And I'm like, yeah, that's Frank. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um, let me message Fillion, um, real quick. Hey Fillion, can we do a pumpkin carving stream? And then if you so please, you can put it in a microwave. I 
I got my ego. Welcome back for eight months. Super proud of me, bro. What? I didn't do anything. I didn't do shit. <laughs> I just became anime. <laughs> Your Udish is so good. Frank, hang on, Frank. Did you see the pixel stuff? You can try to crush a pumpkin between your thighs. Bro, that's a good idea. That's not a good idea, actually. No, I want to see. Guys, Frank hasn't... Frank hasn't seen it. Oh, Frank hasn't seen it. Okay, I got you. I got you. Hang on. Let me get it. I'll just show you the the little video that was made for it. One sec. Okay. I'm gonna pause this real quick. I'll put window capture up here, and I'll get rid of me. We love this. We love this video. Roll it. Sit down, Frank. Watch and enjoy. This is the beginning of a live stream, by the way. I should have done it today because we're doing a pixel stream. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Look harder, chat. Sick intro. What's up, Scuff? How are you doing? Hi. Thank you, Scuff. It's been a few days. <laughs> My friend Frank popped in. IRL friend. Uh, and I'm showing him the latest debut. Shout out to Scuff who made literally all of this. Oh, Frank's losing it. Frank's losing it. And that's where it went live. Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> Welcome. Oh, Frank, that means so much to me! <laughs> yes! Hello, my sweet. Frank likes it! <laughs> the chat broke. Wow. Welcome to my domain. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, I haven't done this one in a, in a few in a bit. And then, and then, and then, and then, uh, there's the, uh, the like the whole environment. Oh, thank you, Frank. You didn't have to do that, dude. Thank you so fucking much. For literally making my vision come to life. Scuff did such a good job, dude. Such a fucking good job. Isn't that fucking badass? Move around? Is that what someone just asked? Technically, yes. <laughs> I'm done. 
boss is defeated. <laughs> I remember being on a phone call with Scuff one time, and he was doing this while I was trying to talk to him about something to update, and he just kept doing this. <laughs> Looks so good, dude. Holy shit. You see that? So Scuff made a specific spotlight in the scene as well, where you're able to move all of the, um, you're able to move the shadows. What would you like to see? Scuff worked really hard on this setup for Varudo. Yeah, it looks so what good. I really I should I should have done my pixel immersive. model today. Sorry guys. To I'm just trying to really crawl cool back from the fucking UI shadow realm to like stream. Everything on screen. I just wanted it to feel like you were playing a game. I wanted it to feel like I but Yeah, dude Frank, it's nice to see you, man. Yes, yeah, Scuff. Scuff just fucking knocked this out of the goddamn park, man. I I Oh, I'm so fucking lucky. <laughs> Aw, dude, thanks, Frank. Holy shit. We're just, we're just vibing here. <laughs> we like to play games. We like to, you know, we like to do new shit. Um. Yeah. I, glad I popped by. Thanks, Frank. I hope you're doing well. I miss you heaps, dude. One day we'll catch up in person. This is what drew me to you when I found you on YouTube. Oh, thanks, man. Welcome back, Kip. How you doing? Yeah, actually, Frank, I don't know if you guys know. Uh, I think I was talking a bit ago when I did Beat Saber and I was like, yeah, I went to a Kiari Pemi Pemi concert. I went with Frank. <laughs> we fucking danced hard. It was such a good, it was such a good concert. I love Kiari. Holy damn, dude. LA seems like it was millions of years ago, like a whole different part of my life that I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Let's see what else. Okay. Um, I've been gone for a while. What have I missed? Do you guys want to catch me up on things? Yo, Nagi, hi! How you doing, dude? Hi, I hope you're doing well. Hello. Hi. I have to go to the server racks and suffer. That sounds great, you Sprite. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Bye, you Sprite. Can you describe the color blue? Cold. And slimy. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm glad to be back. I, I think whenever I take a lot of time off, it's, it's so hard to want to come back. Holy crap, chat is huge. What do you mean? Is chat too big? Is chat taking up too much of the screen? What the fuck? <laughs> what? I've never had someone come in and say that before. <laughs> what do you mean? What does it mean? <laughs> what? Tomato has like a whole half screen full of chat. I found you off a Discord emote. What? <laughs> <laughs> How big should chat be? I don't know. It's just it's just chatting. So I I decided to let you guys take up half of the screen. Here, I I got you guys. Check this out. Oh, that's not the right fucking There you go. I'm used to like 10. Oh, you mean the people in the stream? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, hey, welcome on in. Hi. Guys, if I don't stream for even like a day, maybe two, and I stream again, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I, it's it's like I haven't been streaming for eight fucking years. I don't I don't know. I don't know what the what do you what do you, what, do you, what? what do you want? What do you want? Why I'm here? What, do you need something? What? I just work here. I don't know. I don't know. What? How? How can I help you? What can I help you with? What? 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 <laughs> I found Lena on YouTube when I was doing a collab with Cinder, playing the Devil and Me. Oh yeah, that was last year. Hey. Uh, 
Um, I'm just happy to be here. Smile. Sorry, no. <laughs> Omni, welcome to the stream. You're good, dude. No worries. Darius, welcome back. Let's see. What do I have to update you guys with? Um, I haven't been doing much of anything i look listen check this out i um i i did some cable management i i did that i did some cable management that was great that was good yeah uh i uh, I went to the gym. Guys, I think I need to take a photo at some point. My calves. They're thick, bro. I think even my calves would be able to, like, s fucking crush a watermelon at this point. It's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Tomatoes dead. <laughs> um, what else? I went to the dentist the day before yesterday, I think it was. And I got my fangs lengthened and it was really cute. Here's a little story. Um, I got my just like fangs maybe like two years ago and the dentist that does them retired. And I know that some dentists think it's really weird and they don't want to do it because they're really concerned about your bite and they want to be sure they don't fuck up your teeth, right? Um, but there's a new dentist and the lady that was giving me my appointment was like, don't worry, she's really nice and she'll work with you. And I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And she's this tiny little lady. She was so cute. She held up her hand and she shook my She's like, hi, hello. I hear that you want fangs today. And I was like... Yeah, yeah, is that weird? Is it okay? I just want to get them longer. <laughs> just like, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> and she was like, how long do you want them? Do you want them to be like a vampire? Or do you want them just like right here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so we did that. And then at the end, she was like, if you, you know, want more attention to your fangs, we could give you some little, like, teeth gems that could be nice. <laughs> What's up, Nick? How you doing, dude? How are you? How have you been? But yeah, that was really nice. My fangs are long now, and I'm, because I already have had them for, like, two years at a certain length, I'm already used to, like, things I can and can't eat and can and can't do and things like that. Um, so I'm already quite used to them. But I, I admit that getting them longer, I felt like I had a little bit of a lisp for a few hours. But that's it. I was over it. No good. I hope you're feel doing better. I'm still a bit tired, but um, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna say some like I'm gonna say a hot take. I'm. This is a hot take. I fucking hate Monster Mash. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I never want to hear it. I needed to be obliterated from the entire goddamn fucking universe for the rest of life. I never want to hear that tune for the rest of my life. I think it's the worst fucking song. It's horrible. I don't care for it. I don't care for it. I don't care. I never want to hear it again. Next. I hate it. I also don't want to listen to, like, lo-fi Halloween. But then, then it's, like, trap fucking Halloween. Can we listen to something spooky without being... Oh, my God. This is what not feeling well gets you. I'm just, I'm just like, testy. <laughs> uh, Halloween... Uh, mix Halloween whimsical Halloween night fairy hocus pocus music ambience with candles. Does this feel Halloween to you? Does this... No. Oh, wait, what's Halloween... Uh, wh who's... Uh, 
What's the word? Someone just said it. Uh, someone said a word. Electro swing. I forgot to eat. Doesn't matter. Spooky swing. What's this? This is cute. Cute. Hi. But I feel like I have to have heaps of energy for this. No, I don't. I don't have that. I don't have enough energy for this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is cute as fuck, though. I think it's all the same. Wait. Wait. Yeah, see, I just clicked four different links. They all started the same. <laughs> okay, how about this? This is good. This is good. Yes. All right. Welcome. I feel like I sound exactly the same. That, or maybe I'm just used to what I sound like with this mix already. But. Goodness, this mixer gave us a lot of hell yesterday. Have you watched any new on fiction? No, I haven't. The only thing that I've been watching is sex education. And I finished Ragnarok. Played Liza P in some of my off time. I haven't really watched much of anything. Huh? Don't ha me. You guys don't know what sex education is? Can you eat hibiscus? What? What? What 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 are you saying right now? What are the what? Why is there always one of you per stream that just says the most outlandish shit that I just never would have thought of? Um, Sex Education is a show on Netflix. It's, uh... It's a... It's a show. Uh, about... Hmm... Oh, thank God, saved by the dogs. Speaking of unfiction, I'm calling you out. It's October. I'm spooky. You're spooky. You and me collab this month. Yeah, dude, the only I, I would love that. I would always say yes instantaneously. The only reason why I'm hesitant, bro, is I'm going to be traveling as of next week. I'm going to be gone. Like the one here's 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 my thoughts. One, I'm really sad, honestly, that I'm kind of I'm traveling during the biggest spooky month of the year. However, I feel like Everyone is going to watch everyone else during this month because this is the month that all the people who don't do scary stuff do scary stuff, right? So I kind of get to take a break. I get, I get to take a vacation. You know? While everyone does the spooky stuff. But yeah, I'm going to be in the States, Nick. Uh, until mid-November. So unfortunately... I, I Well, I'm going to be streaming though. Yeah, if you want to do something, bro, I think... Doing like an unfiction together would be great, actually. I would love to do that. So let's let's plan that. No, no, no. I'm still going to be streaming. It's just going to be a, probably a little bit harder to plan because of time zones and stuff. But hi, Lindsay. I'm always with Lindsay during Halloween and this year I won't be and it makes me sad. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, let's do it. I think I was hesitant at first because I didn't know where I was going to be and when at what time. But yeah, if you want to work that out with me, I would love to. Can we, can we, can we, can you pause and think about this for a second? Lena Lazar and Nick Nocturne doing an unfiction together. What does this world come to? Also, Tricky, happy birthday. It was my I never birthday would have thought. On the second. Damn, dude. I turned 24 in hold now. That's so cool. Hey, Nick, thanks for asking me. I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. And I thank you so much for giving that sub to Lindsay and AJ. Welcome on in. Welcome back. And local, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. 
I'm available available around this time for a whole lot of days this month. Oh, that should be fine. I don't know what time it's going to be where I'm going to be. What you doing up there? Which I have to be very careful about now not, not saying where I'm going to be. <laughs> so I'll just DM you. I think this should be fine. Because it's like 10 a.m. for me and I know everywhere else in the world it's like late at the minute. So. Yeah. What is this a song? What is this from? This is cute. Why is everyone giving me their times? Did I ask that? I can't remember. I can't remember. Did I ask what time it is? <laughs> <laughs> my brain bro it's like cobwebs up there right now cobwebs okay i like i didn't know things were going to be hectic this month yeah i've kind of kept it to myself i think um a lot of the contributing factor of me not feeling well was just stress because i'm i'm doing i'm going to like three different places i'm gonna be with philian for a week and then i'm gonna be in vegas for a week and then i'm gonna be some i'm gonna be in like a few other places uh for several weeks after that visiting friends and it's just like I think it kind of hit real hard and it's so much travel it's so much travel and i think i'm just getting a little nervous so yeah it's like a mixture of i want to stream and a mixture of uh you know content creators getting that glaringly obvious worry of if i'm gone for too long people will forget you um, finding time to work, finding time to spend with friends, etc. But yeah, homesickness, all that. But I'm looking forward to it, dude. I'm so excited to see Fillion next week. Can you believe that? N next week. It's right around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, very, very excited. <laughs> I think once I get there and the hard part, like the travel part, is done, I think I will feel better. Yeah. A whole week with Fillion. Yeah, actually, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, no, no, no a whole week. Um, I will be doing uh, full body, but I will have a mask on. I think Fillion will be doing hand cam. Um, and then... God, I can't wait to see, like... Uh, just everyone again from last year's TwitchCon. Um, I'm a bit nervous because there's more people going, but I think because we are all well versed in TwitchCon now that I'm not as nervous. But it's gonna be long. So that's two. That's like a whole week of work and hanging out with Fillion, and then a whole week in Vegas with like 20 VTubers. I'm going to be so tired. <laughs> How does TwitchCon work? What do you mean? What's that mean? Don't let her cook for you? Wait, why are two people saying that? Don't let her cook for you. What? Why? Listen, I know how notoriously bad Fillion is at cooking. It's okay. I told her that I cook for her and I teach her how to cook. She might poison you? Bro, guys, have you seen how she makes eggs? Like, boiled eggs. I, d I don't know how anyone can fuck up boiled eggs, but she sure can. Bad. She cooks them so long, they turn green. And then she eats it and complains about it, but she'll eat it anyway. It's ridiculous. Impressive. But ridiculous. She's gross, I know. <laughs> but I adore her. It's okay. Yeah, have you guys never, like, boiled your eggs so long that they turn green inside? Yeah, you had to work pretty hard to do that, I think. I told her I'd, I'd, tell, I'd show her how to properly boil an egg. Um, what do you 
what are you guys most excited for with the Philly and, and I stuff? I feel like her and I haven't really talked about it publicly yet. I think we're just trying to like, her and I both have a lot going on with Vegas and TwitchCon and, and hanging out. So I think, I think the last I spoke with her, we're trying to keep it very like, this is our time to just have a good time and relax and not view it as lots of work because I know that everything else is going to be like a lot of work <laughs> so i'm just excited to see her and hang out with her i think she was the one that was calming me down last time because i was very stressed she's like we're gonna have pizza and we're gonna go out to eat we're gonna watch movies um and i've never heard her really say anything like that before so i'm looking forward to it Do you think Philly would drink? No, Philly doesn't drink. I didn't really drink either, to be frank. I don't th think Philly is going to be as chaotic in person. I think she's going to be really nervous, but that's just my guess. Are you watching the new Saw movie? Oh, fuck yeah, I am. Are you guys? Wait, wait, is Saw 10? Wait, is it already out, Nick? Did you already see it? I didn't know it came out already. Saw X was great. Wait, it's already out. It's so good. Oh. Oh, I'm excited that you guys are saying it's good. I'm so relieved the new Saw is good. Okay, good, good. I'm really glad to hear that, good. I didn't realize it was out. I... After TwitchCon, I want to go ghost hunting. And I want to do more escape rooms. And I want to see the Saw movie. And I want to go to Haunted House. And I want to... Maybe try an IRL stream, possibly. And, um... I think that's on my list so far. Are you going to see a FNAF movie? When does it come out? Are you going to vlog the ghost hunting? Maybe. Also, Siberian, thank you so much for getting that sub. I appreciate it. I just want cozy weather. We got a heat wave instead. It's still winter here, dude. It's really cold. Of course, Gray. Of course. October 20th. What? Okay, I guess I'm saying FNAF and Saw. Cool. I am winking. I'm winking at the person that I would probably go watch these movies with just in case you may or may not be listening <laughs> but if you are <laughs> we should go watch the boat <laughs> oh my god or I wonder if all the girls are going to want to see Saw at TwitchCon. I don't know. That might be something they want to do. I know. I know that God, TwitchCon is already so cram-packed with so many things that we all want to do. I'm so excited. I've already proclaimed being the designated, like, mother. Um, um with some others. I don't know who has said that they're going or not, so I'm trying to be very careful. Um, but I don't think I'm going to drink much at TwitchCon, if at all, because I know a lot of the other girls <laughs> last year fucking drank heaps, so I think I want to keep an eye on them to just be sure that everyone's good. 
I didn't. Last year, I did not really like it because I was wanting to have a good time because I'd never been to a TwitchCon before. But now I have a very clear idea of how TwitchCon works and Vegas is big and lots of drinking and fun. Um, so I think I'm just, am I going to be with, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be with like Numi and, and that whole group. I don't, like I said, I don't want to say the group because I don't know who has said that they're going. I think Cinder has already said publicly she's going. But yeah, yeah, that are that like core group of indie VTubers, we're all going to be together, yeah. I, I do understand that I think TwitchCon isn't really meant for non-content creators unless those cr creators have made like a designated meet and greet. God, my glasses are like fucking with my eyebrows. Hold on. They're like making them... Stop. Stop. Um, yeah, let's say I have like designated meet and greets. I don't really recommend people who don't stream to go because it's really just an excuse for all of us to meet each other and spend time with each other. It's not... It's not like an anime convention where everyone gets together and like... You know, it's... Like, no one really even goes to the convention itself. I think last year I went the last hour on Sunday to TwitchCon to check out the floor and that was about it. Yeah, and I don't really know what TwitchCon looks like advertised to a non-creator, but I, yeah, I would never waste money going to TwitchCon if I was not a creator. I don't even, like, because you're not going to, unless you're going to be a creep and go to TwitchCon to, like, secretly tail the creators you like, or go to their, like, public meet and greet, I don't, like, why go? Yeah, I've also never been to Vegas, so I don't know what that's going to be like. I just really, 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 really want to go to like a super bougie high-end strip club. That's it. I've never been to a strip club in my life. I've never done that before. Hey, thank you so much for getting that sub. I appreciate it. You'll have a great time then. Ah, is there still cosplay at TwitchCon though? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Was it Twitch was there cosplay last year? I don't know. I'm sure. TwitchCon, you should gather up a bunch of VTubers and go Yeah, that's that, that's we're all yeah, that's uh, that's already it's already happening. Hi Katie, how you doing today, dude? How are you? This doesn't feel like Halloween, but I'm digging it. What are my eyebrows doing? Stop. Like, if you watch them closely, they wiggle on their own. I'm not doing that. I think it's because my, my frames are like... If I take my glasses off, it's not a problem. Oh, there it goes. Fuck. Sorry. I'm paying attention. What are we talking about? Where's my... Strip clubs. Strip clubs. Yes. I want to go to a strip club. Honestly, I don't care where we go or what we do. I'm just looking forward to, like... Meeting the people that I haven't met in person yet, and just making good memories. I think that... Because we're all not corporate, and we're indies, it's really good to 
establish like closeness and support among amongst each other. And I think as I get older, I just firmly believe that online mutual friendships only go so far and only run so deep. And I think it's about creating memories together in person to have longer lasting, stronger friendships. And I think that that's probably the most important part to me in going to TwitchCon. Because I care a lot about um, a lot of these people, but I don't get to spend time with them because we're all so busy, you know? So, feels a lot more real that way. Yeah, I completely agree. Also, hi, voice. How are you doing today? Is Fillion going to TwitchCon? No. Oh, I'm glad you guys like the new uh, mixer. Is it loud enough? I think Ghost was saying that it just sounded very quiet. Are you playing something today? Yes, I'm going to play a game called After Dream in a little bit. Yeah, I think meeting people in person makes friendships that much more solid. Which is why I'm really glad to see like Yuzu, Numi, and, and Rainho out with Giri. Because I know that Giri couldn't come to TwitchCon. Um... I definitely would have made a plan to go to Japan by now, but with all the times I've gone to America, I just can't afford it at the minute. The thing I noticed both times when you came back from America is that you seemed mentally and emotionally refreshed after spending time with friends in person. Yeah. Yeah, I always feel a lot better. And then it's like, you ride that high and then it goes down over time because we all just miss each other heaps. What about Shy Lily? Does she go with you? Yeah, she's coming this year. Yeah, I'll be with, I'll be with Lily. I mean, I wish I could, like, I don't know. H how about this? Chat, who do you know that's going already so I don't, like, disclose anything? Who has said what? I've kept my head down and I've been, like, trying to recoup energy, so I haven't really been online much. Cottontail, yep, she's gonna be with us. Cinder, she's gonna be with us. Numi's gonna be with us. Chai Lily will be with us. Yep, Bow's in our group. I'm gonna be there virtually? Hell yeah. Oh, I can't wait to meet you, Katie. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Who the fuck is Josh? The guy from Taco Bell, I don't know, he told me at the drive-thru. Fuck yeah. Hope Josh has a good time. How much is it for creators to enter? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't tell you. Is it a new Minecraft thing? What? What? What what are you talking what are you Is what? What are you talking about? What are you Yeah, TwitchCon's a new Minecraft thing. I literally just arrived here. I don't know what we're talking about. Literally came into a whole room of people talking about a subject, opens the door. <laughs> Is this a new Minecraft thing? <laughs> Is this the thing? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sorry. It's not. It's not the Minecraft thing. I'll go. I'll go now. And then you just kind of slowly close the door and you leave. <laughs> hey, sorry. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Who's talking about what? I just, I just wanted to know. This was the Minecraft thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Me walking up to a group of people at a funeral. Yo, this wedding's fucking depressing. What's up? <laughs> Me with this any social group about any subject ever. Bro, I could be in a conversation and if it's more than like three people, I don't know what they're saying. I don't know what they're saying. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I think my brain literally lets the snails out and they kind of just go walk around with their ease and shit. You know what I mean? And if they look at me and I'm like... I... I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy at TwitchCon and all the girls are gonna be giggling and laughing and jokes and my brains are gonna be like I don't I'm not sure what's happening, but I'm happy to be here. Also Dava, welcome back for 14 months. Um let's see. Do I have anything else? I don't, because I've honestly just been resting the past few days, I don't think I have much of any updates. Other than I'm nervous to travel. I'm happy to see Filian, and I'm really stoked to see all the girls again. It's Vegas, you and everyone else would probably be sloshed. No, I don't really drink. I think because I'm already a little bit socially overwhelmed, especially by sound, um, I'm gonna probably not drink heaps. I'd rather be like one of the designated people, um, that looks over everyone. I think there's like at least three of us. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, yeah, have any cool dreams? You know, I was thinking about during the, uh, intro uh, earlier, I, I had a dream about Tomato, I think. And he said something like, I'm gonna go get the defibrillator. Defibril- what, how do you pronounce it? Defib- and I was like, is that a word? And he was like, no. And I think that was the dream. That was the whole dream. That's it. Defibrillate. Defib. Defibril. Defrib. Defibril. <laughs> Defibulator. Defibrillator. Defibrillator. There, there it is. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I'm going to go get. I'm going to go get that. And I was like, did you just make that up? Oh, sh oh Shibuya Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hi. I've been lurking and peeking on your streams. You're always so cute. How are you doing? Hi. Welcome on in. We're just hanging out today. We're doing a little bit of chatting before we play a game. Hi, Raiders. How are you doing today? Hi, Kaho. Hi, hi. Aw. What, what did Kaho do today? What did you guys get up to? Aw, oh, thank you, Ko. I hope you have a good, wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful stream. Thank you. We're from Kaho. Hi! Welcome on in. My name is Lena. I generally do horror here, but, uh... I don't know. Maybe we do a bunch of cute stuff this month. Who knows? We beat another Yakuza game? Bro, Yakuza games are long. More power to you, dude. I hope you enjoyed it. Hell yeah. I heard Yakuza games are great. Uh, I know my friend Peach Milky freaking loves all the Yakuza games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you guys had a good time. Good. Welcome on in. Peach Milky, I know her. I love Peach Milky. She's a really close friend of mine. I fucking adore her. I think the background stopped and I didn't put it on loop. There you go. I think I tried to play a Yakuza game once and, and and then I just didn't. I don't know. I didn't I don't know what stopped me. I think really long form RPGs in that way. I'm just like, bro, I'm never gonna have time for this. What's your Halloween stream plan? I so that's the sad thing I was talking about this earlier and I know that Halloween is like 
Halloween's like, you know, it's my shtick. It's Halloween. It's scary. It's horror. But I'm actually traveling to the States like all of October as of next week. So I probably won't be streaming as much as I want to. But there are two two big games that I'm really excited for. is Alan Wake 2, which is going to be massive. I'm so excited for that game. And Lords of the Fallen 2, which comes out next week. But... I won't be here. I won't be here for Halloween most of the most of the month, unfortunately. But I know a lot of people during Halloween choose this time to play horror games, which they normally never do. So I hope a lot of the communities enjoy their favorite streamer playing scary games. Thanksgiving can be pretty spooky too. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to Twitch. Are you going to TwitchCon? No. That's a far, 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 far away from you, right? Yeah, I will be at TwitchCon and a few other places across America. I hate Thanksgiving. I hate Thanksgiving. We actually do not celebrate Thanksgiving in Australia and New Zealand. And thank God, because my birthday is the 24th of November. So my entire life, my birthday's either been the day before, the day of, or the day after Thanksgiving. Which means... My birthday has always been insignificant my entire fucking life because I've always had to go do family stuff and family dinners and no one gives a flying fuck if it's my birthday or if I was ever born. So, for my entire life, my birthday has been schluffed under the rug. I went last year in San Diego. Oh, I want to meet you! Okay, so, um, I've been talking to Geary, talking to Peach. Um, I do want to do a Japan trip, probably January, February. Would you, would you, would you actually want to meet? Wait, did you just say that? Wait, hold on. Did I just put my foot in my mouth? I want to see you someday. Really? Me? Okay. 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 I would like that. I I I would I want to meet all my um friends that live in Japan really bad. Will you visit the Muscle Girls bar when you go to Japan? Probably. You guys want to start planning for a trip? I want to go, I want to go in January or like, I don't want to go in December because I don't want to ruin anyone's Christmas plans, but yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. It'll be a solo run to Japan. I think I'd, I'd like that a lot. Meeting Kaho is a joy. I met her at a con last year. It was like meeting a dear friend for the first time. I, every time I watch her stream, she's the sweetest little bean I've ever seen in my life. Lane a muscle tuber arc. Have you seen my muscles? Bro, I've been hitting the gym hard. Yes. I would love to go to a muscle bar. Shredded. Not yet. Not yet. It's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, if you're from Kahoo's stream, welcome on in. Thank you so much for bringing your lovely community over here. I always appreciate that. Thank you so much. I can't wait to take you places. Ko, where have you come from? Every time you raid, I'm like, how did you, how, how did you get in here? Where did you come from? I don't know how Ko started talking to me, but ever since she did, she's just always been nice. She's always been nice to me, dude. And I, I don't know why. How did you get in here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I thought like, I don't know what I did for you to be so nice to <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, my cheekies hurt. Gugh. Oh, foof. Kaho, do you know Onigiri? What's up, Gordon? Welcome back and welcome on in. They've been contact together? Okay, perfect. I didn't know. I don't like to assume that everyone in Japan just knows each other. <laughs> She's on an IRL stream with Gary. Perfect. You mean the chief who burns rice? Do you mean chef? Close. Okay. 
Okay, I talked to Gary like a few days ago and she's like, when are you coming to Japan? Um, I, dude, I, I've been loving the updates with the girls and, and Gary. Um, especially because it's like hitting a special place in my heart where Gary feels very mom-like. I, I gotta take some tips from Geary because I feel like with this whole alternative goth girl look, I don't really bring like sweet mom vibes. I bring, I'm intimidating and cold and kind of a bitch. I don't want to be that. Geary is always so cute and warm and fun. I want to do that. <laughs> I would need to learn how to do that. I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> I want mom vibes. You don't have bitch vibes. Katie, you haven't met me. Just wait. Just wait. You're going to see me and you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> e. I got to reset my eyeballs. Hang on. There we go. I have mega bitch vibes? I don't think so. Lance cool wine aunts? I, nah, I don't drink wine. Also peach milky. <gasps> You know Peach Milky! I went to her wedding! Okay, I was telling my friend about this the other day. Um, the first time I'd ever internationally traveled in my entire life was to Peach's wedding all the way in Northern Ireland. And that is, it is the polar opposite to New Zealand. And it was two 16 hour flights back to back with like only like an hour in between them. Dude, I, I love Peach. We don't talk much just because we're busy, but I've known her for like six, Pots. Six years? I don't know. But I got to go to her wedding. And I want to see her in Japan really bad. And I was supposed to move to Japan for the longest time. But I think I got really nervous. I think what happened was... Um, I was supposed to move to Japan for, for a long extended period of time. And that's when I had taken about six months of Japanese lessons with a private tutor. And then when I was talking to more people who had traveled to Japan and lived in Japan, especially as foreigners, um, they were saying that it's just, if you are a foreigner in Japan, it's very difficult to survive. It's difficult to be taken seriously. It's difficult to get an apartment. It's difficult to get like necessities. Um, so I think I got really nervous, especially because people were like, if you move with a partner, it's okay. Or if you work for extended periods of time there, it's okay. But if you're coming alone, you're going to be really lonely. Is what I was told. Um, so I decided not to move to Japan. And then once I moved to the States to move to go back and forth between Japan next year uh, to start working there for a bit. But I think the move was a little bit too scary because I didn't want to be... I've got a lot of friends in Japan, but I feel like it's a bit isolating outside of that. I got a job in Japan, had all the paperwork set up and everything, then I panicked a few weeks before and backed out. Yeah, I feel like I was in the same boat, dude. I completely understand that. Completely. Yes, yeah, so that's, I think that was the big thing, is the society, the general, um, the general kind of culture in Japan, right? Um, so here in New Zealand, and I, I talked with Peach about this a lot. In New Zealand, everyone is like family. Right, you can be in the middle of the grocery store or bookstore or whatever, and you can just strike up a conversation and not in the annoying American way, no offense guys, but it just feels like very lighthearted, like you've known each other for a while, there's no judgment, it's, you, you know, the conversations are short and sweet and nice and you move on. It's a very social place, um, but you're not really supposed to do that in Japan. Oh yeah, Americans are annoying. Absolutely. fucking lootly There's like, dude, you can have your headphones on in public so that you're not, you don't want to get talked to. And people will just talk to you about the dumbest shit and they won't shut the fuck up. That is my experience in America constantly. And it's, it's not like, it's just random strangers. I can't, I can't do that. I don't, please don't talk to me if I've got my headphones in. I, it, it, especially as a woman, like it, I get really socially overwhelmed. But it's it's like different uh, in the states. I'm not I'm sorry in the states. It's different in New Zealand. It's very like a respectful, like I feel like 
if, if someone were to get hurt or something went, was wrong, like in public, everyone would be there to help each other immediately, but in a like caring way rather than take out your phones and film kind of thing. Um, but anyway, uh, point being in Japan, you can't just like tap someone on the shoulder or, or like smile and try to strike up a conversation in Japan because people are like, no, keep your head down, focus, don't talk to other people. It's weird, you know. I live in the States and no one talks to me. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I have heard in certain areas, uh, Japan is very forgiving to foreigners. But I imagine if you live there like permanently for years, right? And it's still, you feel like you're a part of Japan, but they will always look at you as a foreigner. And I think sometimes that must be hard. Like for me, I've been in New Zealand for 10 years now and they, Pretty much have concluded I'm like a Kiwi. I might as well have been born and raised here, you know what I mean? But it, you can't, you're never gonna be treated like that in Japan. And that scares me. Bro, are you a Kiwi the moment you entered and said, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's a different thing. Uh, another thing as well. Um, if you have lots of piercings, lots of tattoos, if you stand out, it's kind of frowned upon, not in a bad way, but it's like, mm, like I can't go to public gyms. I can't go to public baths. I can't go to certain places because I'm, I'm, I'm like kind of covered in tattoos in a way. So, um, it makes things a bit difficult. Mm -mm -mm. What was your reason for moving to Japan then other than friends? Uh, work. I had a really awesome work opportunity with an agency uh, long term to be in Japan. Yes, I've played all the Silent Hill games. I'm going to be replaying two um, over this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did your model also get a fang upgrade? No. <laughs> They're still little tiny ones. Are you allowed to talk about the offer you got? Nah, I just prefer to keep it quiet. I think it's hard to, to not talk about it because I want to be like, yeah, this agency hit me up and I could have had like a contract with them and blah, blah, blah. But... And then if I don't, people are like, why the fuck are you keep like going from one thing to another and you make up your mind, but things happen and opportunities arise and then you think about it and consider the situation. Things change. I had a similar experience as moving out to Japan to study, was all set up and stuff, but got there and felt super lonely. I got depressed and ended up moving back to Ireland. I think it depends your personality and what you've grown up with, but even though I'm pretty isolated and I've lived on my own for over two years now, um, I like I know everyone at my local pet store and I know everyone at the local like um, places I eat and I know all of my delivery drivers and I know my neighbors and it's like I'm a very I may be introverted but I'm very social when it comes to my community uh, and my neighborhood and I'm very proud to be here so I feel like if I couldn't have those kind of friendships relationships with where I'm living, I would feel very sad and isolated. I'm used to that. I'm used to being friendly to everyone. But yeah, so I think that's why it's still on the docket next year. And not until I debut my live 2D model. Actually, can we talk about that for a second? I didn't mean for this to be like a hyper talking stream. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I've had a lot on my mind, I guess. My bad, I didn't initially, and now here I am. Um, 
So this trip that I'm taking, I think I just paused my music. One sec. We live chatting. Uh, the trip that I'm taking this month, I'm going to be taking a lot of the downtime to finalize my lore and to get the ball rolling for everything to just get done. Um, like I said before, <gasps> Cotton! Okay, so Cotton, I didn't get to see you last TwitchCon. And I, can I tell you before we see me in person? Um, also, can I, I can't VIP you because I'm out. So I'm just gonna. I have never gotten to really like talk to you or hang out with you or stream with you. Um, I would really like to spend some time with you, Cotton, and get to know you. I feel like we run in the same circle, but we've never really gotten a chance to hang out or to talk. I would really like that if that's okay. I will, Cotton, I will let you know I'm very nervous. Um, I'm less nervous uh, because I understand how last year was, but because I'm like, I feel old <laughs> and a little bit slow, I'm very nervous. So I hope that you will still like me. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better. I'm I'm getting there, I think. Cotton is very nice. Yeah. I'm really excited to meet Cotton. Oh, you guys are being so nice. I can't wait to see you in all caps. Uh, does anyone get brain worms? Like specifically asking Cotton, like I feel that because all of us have known each other for like two or so years since we, cause we all kind of started at the same time, right? But I still get brain worms. Like I'm going to see them and meet them. And what if they don't like me? Or what if I talk too little or I talk too much or I come off as cold or maybe I look too scary because I always wear black and I've got a lot of tattoos and piercings. And what if I'm too old or what if I don't giggle enough or what if I'm not funny enough or what if I'm not cool enough? You know what I mean? I, <laughs> Do you guys think that too? Am I the only one worried about this? Oh my gosh, she's talking about the fangs. Yeah, <laughs> I got my fangs lengthened the other day. You're perfect and amazing in everything. Oh, I think that's why it's, I also just got a little bit like overwhelmed about it. And I, I think it contributed to me not feeling well. So I'm trying to get it all in my system. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying really. There's, here's my brain. My brain is like, if I just like keep all of my insecurities to myself and I like and I seem so calm and collected on my stream and I seem like the person that everyone wants to talk to because I've just got all of my shit together and my life is just super, you know, perfect and in place. And when you meet me, you're going to be intimidated. But the inside, the inside of me is like... <laughs> I want to cry. It's so scary. <laughs> I already met most of all these girls already. I, I'm just so nervous. I'm so fucking nervous, dude. <laughs> and I think I'm feeling overwhelmed because it's like Fillion and, and then all the VTuber girls and then my friends afterwards. And I, 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 I gotta get it together. I gotta get it fucking together, dude. I'm perpetually nervous. But what if they don't like me? No. I don't think that'll happen. I think we're all, we've all known each other for so long now. I think everyone's established who likes who now. Are you going to be in Vegas? Yes. I'm going to be in Vegas for like a week. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, all insecurities aside, I... I think I spent most of the time last year with the boys. So this year I'm going to dedicate like the entirety of TwitchCon being with the VTuber group. So. And I think this will be good too because I think after the trip I'll probably make some solid plans to see all these guys again. Um, no, why would I wait till after? Dude. 
Um, okay, so two things. One, uh, um, uh, I know that for people who are looking for fangs, there is this one guy that specifically does like fangs that you put over your teeth and they're specifically made for you. I forgot his name is like Father something or other. But if you're wondering, uh, anyone in general listening about my fangs, I, I went to an actual dentist, like, um, a dentist that will do, um, like cosmetic stuff on your teeth. So, the, and so, so to be, to be very clear, if you go to your dentist and you ask for fangs, specifically what I had done is they used, um, like the, what do you call the molding, the, 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 the stuff that they put in for fillings? No, 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 they're not caps. They're my actual teeth, but it's, it's a material that they put on top of my teeth. I kind of like a cement. Um, and they, they put it on my teeth, right? And they dry it and then they, they file it and like saw it down. Um, so that it's shaped over time, like to like my bite. And then they will have me bite on a piece of paper and then they'll keep filing and, and, um, little saw there's like three or four different versions of this like saw and they keep on like sawing and chipping away at the chipping away at it i think that it, it depends on where you are but if you are in america cotton you will more than likely find someone that will do that for you as opposed to where i'm at it took me a few dentists to, to find someone who would actually do it properly um but yeah just go to a cosmetic type dentist is it permanent if you of no, 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 no. So it's not permanent. All you have to do for the way I got my things done is they just have to file it down. And then they have tools that they'll be able to see with certain light where your tooth, your real tooth ends and where the kind of mold starts. It's kind of a glue that burns with LED light. Yes, that's exactly right. Ceramic polymer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So essentially, they're, they are my teeth because I can chew and I can bite and I can rip with these teeth. And I didn't want the Father Sebastian ones. One, I'm not there. Two, I'm sure everyone in the world wants one, so he's busy. And those are like caps, like things you put over your teeth. So I wanted to have things that m looked more like teeth um, as much as I really would want cute, like sharp things. But I want something that is like a part of me when I speak, when I smile, um, and that looks kind of like, hey, they still like look like your natural teeth, but they're clearly longer and more fang-like. Does that make sense? Also, hi, Team Marshall. Welcome back for 68 months. I really appreciate that. And I hope that you're doing well. I'm having a really good day. Thank you. And the, the reason why I can't do what like Father Sebastian does with real teeth is that they, they, I've done that before when I first got my fangs and they chipped. It's very easy to chip and that's why what he does is their little like caps, right? But with me, they have to be a bit thicker so that I can actually like talk and eat. And sometimes when you sleep, you grind your teeth. So they have to be sure that everything is perfect in your mouth so that those things don't happen or affect your teeth. Oh, thanks for gifting that to Tomato. <laughs> Would you ever get the tongue surgery that splits your tongue in two? Absolutely fucking not. Also, NB, welcome on in. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, you can't eat with his caps and they stain. So that's another thing. Like, I want to be able to eat, to drink, to just be my normal self. So when you look at me and I'm talking, you're like, holy shit, she's got fangs. You know what I mean? Just like a part of me and my mouth and my aesthetic. Have fun on your trip. Thank you. I'm really excited. <laughs> but um, I think I might want them just a little bit longer, but I can't have them sharper or they're, they're going to chip. They're low-key, but once you notice them, they're pretty. It, yeah, thank you, by the way, for saying that. That's how I wanted them. I wanted them to feel like they were natural part of my mouth, but clearly 
you wouldn't naturally be born with that long of things, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I think I just like finding things that feel like my aesthetic and things that make me happy, but body, um, body mods kind of thing, you know what I mean? But within a realm of normalcy, if that makes sense. I just watched a video on vampire things uh, like this by an actual dentist and apparently you actually picked a good method. Yeah, uh, so when I had first gotten it done, I did a lot of research whether they should be caps, whether they should be veneers, uh, whether they should be my actual teeth. Uh, and I feel like this was the best long-term method. I wonder if they actually... No, when I bite, I don't feel them. But yeah, if you see me at TwitchCon, I'll have my fangs long. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, we were talking about next year and the live 2D model. Yes. Okay, so this trip specifically, aside from the traveling and all my friends that I will be meeting and things I will be doing, I want to focus and hunker down on getting everything done that I need to get done for the live 2D debut because as much as I like this model, I'm going to be real with you guys. And I know that you guys enjoy this model as well, but I think I'm going to be honest. I feel like this model is holding me back. And I think it's because the unfortunate reality. Oh my God, where are my fucking eyeballs? Hold on. The unfortunate reality of VTubers is that it's not the norm. The norm is the anime styled live 2d cool gooey looking bouncy aesthetic and i think that sometimes the way i look even though i think it's pretty cool can turn people off um and i i think that it's time to grow it's time to move forward um so i need to hurry up because the model itself, like the base and stuff is done. Um, the mouth, God, the rigging for the mouth is so good. Everything is just so aesthetically pleasing. Um, so going 2D again, I've never gone to, I've always, for the entirety of me being a VTuber, I've always been 3D. I've never been, I've never been 2D. Are you happy with it? Oh, I love it. Dude, Cecile and June did a wonderful job. Beach Bridger for the mouth tracking, that and then some. I meticulously went through every intricate shape with June to be sure that the mouth was great, and it is. Um, but the thing that's stopping everything is me, and I although the lore is like 90% written I think because when I'm stressed or if I'm sad or if I'm busy I can't get my head where it needs to be to continue to write and for me the lore is very closely ingrained with my experience at the hospital and sometimes I just don't feel like I have the energy to put myself back there and it's why I haven't finished it and it's why we have put a hold on Lindsay and her doing the what is it called uh what is it called when you're doing uh, animation like breakdowns? Um, anyway, so this trip, I'm going to finish the lore. I'm going to the animatic, maybe uh, storyboards. That's it. She was doing the storyboards for the lore video. Um, I'm going to finish the lore. I'm going to sit down with it. I'm going to break down every intricate detail of things that need to be finished in order for the live 2D to be debuted. I will be using this trip when I'm not streaming because it will be easier, you know, now that I'm going to so much time during the trip to contact everyone to get things done and finished and on its way. So by the time I get home, things will be on it on their way. They're really I think people are just waiting on me for the most part. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of stuck on is music. I don't know how everyone does these like cover songs and original sounds and songs and stuff. 
I would like to do music, but I don't know where to start. I don't know where I'm supposed to look. So I think once I get that underway, that then we'll be on, well on our way out. Wait, really? Hi, Cotton. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> really? I, I think I like never like asking my VTuber friends because I know how hard everyone works to do things on their own and I never like bothering people. Which is why maybe I think people don't approach me because I, st I stay in my lane, I stay quiet, but it's mostly because I don't like bothering people. Okay. Yeah, that would be really nice. I don't know where to start at all. I have been wanting to go back to singing lessons with a with a like uh, um, a private tutor for ages, but I don't know like if I should even do that because I don't know how to make music. I don't know how to make like a cover song. Everyone comes out with like their own cover song and shit for debuts, and I'm like. I'm so overwhelmed by not knowing who I'm supposed to talk to about that, that I just don't do it, you know? Um, so thank you. I don't, yeah, I don't like asking for help. I, I hate asking for help, actually. Like, even if I, if, if I could be, like, dying and my arm is cut off, I'm like, I'm cool. I'm cool, don't, don't call anyone. I can, I can figure this out. I can figure this out. Um, <laughs> I just don't, I feel a lot of shame if... I need help, let alone asking for help. Because I want people to feel like... I can do it. I feel like if I need help, people will start to feel like I can't do it. So... I work really hard... <laughs> to... to be as... stable and just kind of like, on my own as possible. So... Man... Cotton really saving the day today! <laughs> The thing with that is that I, I would help anyone and everyone in a heartbeat. They can call me in the middle of the night. If they need me to fly over to their, their country, I would do it. I would do anything for the people I care about. I think this coming year I would like to... I think I would like to build closer friendships with my VTuber friends. I think for the longest time... I avoided that mostly because I don't like the idea of us not knowing who is and isn't our friend because of like numbers and clout and things like that. And I know when we first started VTubing, the word collab was just in everyone's vocabulary, but we didn't know at the end of the day were how many of us were really friends. So I thought, well, if I just avoided any sort of collabs or if I avoided friendships, then people would know that I wasn't out for clout. You know what I mean? I'm highly aware of those things and I don't want that. So I'd rather things to be a very natural friendship, um, which is why it was really nice meeting Juniper in person and hanging out with her. Um, so also happy one year anniversary, Suverino. But I think now that all of us have very well established ourselves in our own communities and we're aware of what all of the things we are, Wait, we are aware of the things that we do and what our shtick is. I think it's time that I've, I am comfortable now opening up to VTuber friends specifically. Because I think it was VTuber friends specifically that I kept a little bit of distance from because I didn't want anyone to question my my friendship or not. Does that make, does that make sense? Does that, does that make sense? Is, is that making, is that coming out correctly? <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I um I think come to WitchCon I I think I'm going to try my best to be a little bit more open. Yeah. Like for instance, uh, do you guys remember when Twin came to visit me for like a month? I loved that. I loved that um, and I want more of that because I think that it would help to just have good friends to lean on in the community. 
you all have found yourselves a little bit better than you had before and therefore you can put yourselves forward more comfortably yeah i completely agree with that yeah absolutely do i like silent hill one yes I think it's an overly cautious approach, but of course, comfortability is a huge concern. Yeah, I think that, you know, because I come up, I come from a bit of a not great upbringing. I'm hyper aware of myself and friendships, so I tend to really distance myself for a bit to ensure that someone likes me. And then I'm like, OK, 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 you like me. We can be friends. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. Aw. Dang, now I'm really excited to meet Cotton. I think a lot of my, my insecurities or my weird social habits just come from a really, really bad and awful upbringing. And I'm still doing my best to maneuver around those habits as an adult to try to build healthy friendships. I think in an industry like this, it's important to be cautious. It's easy to get taken advantage of. Oh, completely, dude completely it's really hard being a content creator and genuinely finding long-term deep friendships like and when i say friendships i don't mean just online or hanging out i mean that you and the other person argue or have a fight and you come out the other end you communicate when things are hard or you have a misunderstanding so you talk about it you know uh, maybe you you agree to like meet up and you hang out and you visit each other like just like or call on the phone when you have a moment and and you know you need to pick their brain about something you know who's coming where hi Jeanette. <laughs> hey dude how you doing also Klimlak. i think i said that right welcome on in and rising hi welcome back and happy one year anniversary it's important to be able to deal with difficult things and that's how you know if you're really friends yeah yeah I think as you get older, it's really important to kind of establish how you view friendships. And for me, I think communication is really important and being able to, to deal with difficult things is really important. I think you, you can know a lot about someone when you can kind of discuss difficult things together and then get through it, you know? I love okay. I'm sad ye on movie alien. I think should have at least a few art pieces, doesn't? I feel bad for Calvin from life. Cap! Cap knew! Cap fucking knew! Cap knew I was gonna read it! <laughs> oh god, fucking hell! Kevin, that's a new copy pasta. That's a copy pasta if I've ever fucking seen one. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna sip this coffee real quick. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Dewey, did you see that? I'm gonna miss my dog so much. Yeah, Luffy, that happens sometimes too. You meet creators or, you know, people that you are friends with online, and that's just the part of life. You know, sometimes you don't click, sometimes you think you're really close friends, and then things just kind of fall out of place. It happens. You always read the sus message and never the good ones. <laughs> Wait, Shinect, are you going to be in Vegas? Hold, stop. Shinect, are you seriously? Shinect, if you're gonna... I'm gonna cry so fucking much. Are you gonna be in Vegas? Oh my god. Do you want to see boobies with Lena? Stop! Okay, I did not know. What the fuck, Shinect? Okay, yes, yes, we're hanging out, Shinect. 100%. Do you want to go to a strip club?
It has to be a bougie, really... I won't say no. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's happening. I'm. All the girls already want to go to uh, a strip club, so it's happening, and you're coming with us. I've met guys, come on, I've never been. I just want to experience what a strip club is like. I, I think it was like Bao and everyone that went last year, and or some some place, and they were like, yeah, they were really nice and relieved that there were girls there, so... What's with VTubers and strip clubs? Do you mean what's with any human being in strip clubs? Because if you're not curious about strip clubs, I'm like, who are you? You know? You've got to be at least a little bit curious, right? I've never been to Vegas. I'm actually kind of scared. It's just VTubers. Somehow I don't... I don't think that's the case. Sounds anti-curious. You're not curious about really hot women and boobs? Yeah, we definitely got a group. I'll hit them up. I'll be like, Shnex. Shnex coming with us. Dude, I'm so excited. I didn't know that you were going to be in Vegas. What the fuck? You should have told me sooner. I'll punch anyone for you, m'lady. Shnex, how tall are you? You're five eight. I'm five two. Bow shorter than me. Okay, so whatever. Normal height. That's not fucking normal. That's massive, gigantic. I'm not two feet. Fuck you. Above, slightly above average. Okay, me and Katie are almost the same height. Oh, Bao is so... Guys, I think I've told you this before. When I first met Bao at TwitchCon, I didn't think it was Bao because of how tiny and precious and baby she was. And I was like, who is this? I think I was like towering over her at the time because I was wearing heels. And I didn't think it was her. I was like, there's no way this tiny little cute girl is Bao. Bao is, like, the size of my fucking knee. Like, the height. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Rainho is very short as well. That's true. I think they're all kind of short. Yuzu's kind of tall, yeah. She's tall and slender. Yuri is super tall and beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, Shinek, that's the thing. I can't say who is and isn't going to TwitchCon. <laughs> I think we're all like, there's some of us keeping it under wraps. Some of us are like open, but I don't know who said what. So I'm just kind of like assuming no one is going outside of the group um, that I'm in right now. We've almost been talking for two hours! About what? I was curious, but I do know one thing about strip clubs. That if I- if- if treat a stripper with respect, I give them money, they will please you more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do you guys know that um, prostitution is legal in New Zealand? So much so that it's like there's really nice ones. Yes. 
They're protected as well. There's this place called the Mermaid, and it's like a strip club, but then above that is like a place you can just buy time to have sex. I, I've never done it. <laughs> I've never done it. I will not ever do it, but it's not like a brothel. It's like a very professional. I actually don't know. I only saw the pictures on the internet uh, online. I don't know. I've never been. Hello, yes, I would like to purchase a sex time, please. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's legal sex work. It's actually kind of cool because I think the way New Zealand views it is that if it's going to happen, you should be protected um, and you should, you know, of course, have equal rights. Um, so I think New, New Zealand's very, you know, forward, not forward. Uh, 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 what's the word? What's the slang term for being like cool? Slade, I'm moving. <laughs> progressive. Sorry. Progressive. New Zealand's very progressive. Hi, I'd like to order one sex, please. I think if it's done right, it shouldn't be illegal. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> also, welcome back for 26 months. <laughs> do they serve food? I think they do. I think they do. Now I get why Bilbo never wanted to leave the Shire. Why is that the thing you read? <laughs> I think it's talking about how it can be professionally done. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That makes sense. Guys, I'm convinced that is if half of you that are so stuck in the States and never travel outside your little city, okay? If anyone came to New Zealand and you were able to come here and stay here, you would stay here. I think that... New Zealand is such a wonderful, beautiful place. And I think the reason why it's in the middle of nowhere and left off of maps usually is because it's so secretly amazing that if too many people knew about it and had access to it, it would change. Lena, the games are double the price. Nope. Th that's fair. Oh my god, I said I opened a can of worms. Chat's like I'm telling you. That's why I'm like, I feel like I am the perfect. I'm the perfect partner. If you marry me, okay. You can live here. It's perfect here. I just want to say I really like your YouTube content. Keep going. Dude, hey, thanks, Cloud. Guys, we hit 70k. I feel actually really embarrassed saying that. I don't know. Wait. Uh, I feel like it's baby numbers at the minute because everyone I know has got like a million and I'm here like, guys, I, I just hit 70k. Guys, we hit 70k. We hit 70. I know I'm just a baby, but we did it. We did it. <laughs> Ah, I feel so little. No, we did it. We hit 70k. Thanks, Ghost. That's true. We didn't really start focusing on YouTube in the past, like, year. Hi, I'm new to the stream. I heard you were the perfect partner in a resident New Zealand. I'd be honored to court you. <laughs> Also, thanks for the bits, Rattle. Dude, Shinect, I mean it. I mean it, okay? Listen, listen! I'm telling you, New Zealand, if people could afford it, okay? And you just even visited New Zealand and it didn't cost an arm and a leg to fly all the way from America to visit New Zealand, all of you in the chat would really love New Zealand. It's the air, just, you, you take a big deep breath of New Zealand air. 
It's so far removed in, from the world. I know that's such the downfall of New Zealand, dude. It's such the downfall. It is it's so disconnected from the entire world. Do you know what it feels like to live in New Zealand and it feel like everyone in the entire world doesn't exist in the same world you do? I live like a whole day ahead of you guys. I feel like I live on a different planet. Are dogs allowed in New Zealand? What? What? No! Why would they be? Right to you, right here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, free healthcare. Okay. Everyone is kind. The food is phenomenal. Uh, the overall culture is great. Dude, I sometimes record just like going home and sending it to my friends because it's so beautiful. Every time I drive, I feel so fucking thankful and lucky because I just look at just multitudes of high mountains and rolling hills and beautiful water. It's just fucking gorgeous. So pretty, dude. Can you please describe NZ in your own words? A serene, mystical place of complete nirvana. I'm looking at you, Shinect. I wink loudly. But I, the downside is I always feel so far away from all of my friends and anyone I, I like, care about in that way. Me and anyone in Australia, honestly. Like, think of how... Think right now, how far do you feel is Australia? And then add, like, five hours. That's me. People don't think about New Zealand. Holy fuck, it would cost me almost four grand to take a flight to NZ. Guys, it cost me, in NZ dollars, $5,200 to fly back home from the States in this current trip. Yes, Katie says, I know it seems hard, but at the same time, where you live makes such a huge difference to your happiness and life. I dream of living in a magical place. It does. It does, dude. It has made such a difference in my mental state and my health. I came here because essentially I was dying. <laughs> and ever since I came to New Zealand, I... I don't know. I think I owe New Zealand my life. Um... It's just such a wonderful place that regardless of anything in your life that could ever be going wrong, just being here makes everything better. Makes you feel sane. I think your surroundings contribute a lot to your mental state. I think I'm, a l I'm able to stay sane a lot of the time because of where I live. I'm really confident in that. I just want to say your morning affirmation has helped me great. Uh, get through this week. You're amazing. Glad I found this channel. Rock D, thank you so much for saying that. I hope you have a, you've had a good week. And I'm I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah, I would say that for like mental healing and hell, even physical healing, New Zealand is the place to be. Like if you have no attachments and you don't have family and stuff like that and you're willing to like cut ties and shit, New Zealand is the place to go. But it does get lonely sometimes, but I'm happy with where I am. I, I think a few years ago I was very lonely, but I've, I've, you know, I've made it work. Hi, Cabal. Dude, hi. How are you today? It's always nice to see you. I would cry someday if I could even just vacation. I think for everyone in the chat, I know it's a big ask. But even before you die, if you could visit New Zealand, 
Rheumatized Mania once in your life, you should. Oh, Pippers. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm having a really good day. And you saying banger makes me want a burger. I found home. I think that's exactly the perfect way to put that, Edie. This, no matter if I ever move anywhere else in my entire life, New Zealand is my home and it's where I want to raise my children. Like, New Zealand is just this unforgettable, unimaginable place that I really wish I could just yank everyone out from where they live and put them here because they would, they would, they would stay here. This place is amazing. The model's beautiful. Thank you. I think if there's any other country I want to visit and or live, it would be the UK. This stream is making me realize how much- how burned out I am, how much I need a vacation. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I visited NZ for a whole month and I'm 100% moving there. Hopefully end of next year. Yes! 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 I don't say Maccas. I think it's more of an Australian thing. What's on the docket? We're going to play After Dream today. I'm just kind of vibing with you guys uh, because I know that I've been gone for a while. But we're winging it at the beginning. I never do. I won't say never. I haven't done just chatting this long in a while. The average height of New Zealand men is five foot ten inches. Thank you. Oh, Grey Warden, thank you so much for giving ten subs to the community. I appreciate that, heaps. Thank you, thank you. Bro, I was talking about it with my friend uh, yesterday. Dating in New Zealand is bad. It's not great. So, even though, if you're coming to New Zealand as a foreigner, good. If you're living here and you're trying to date people who have grown up in New Zealand, not good. Not good. Bro, did I tell you about the date I went on when I was like on Bumble ages ago? You guys remember that date? And I was like, so do you play games? Like, do you have like a computer? And he was like, yeah, I've got a computer, but I use it for like my email and sometimes I play Doom, but beyond that, I go dirt biking and I drink on the weekends. I've never been so turned off in my life. I cannot believe that at this day and age, my, my like desires, someone has to be not only interested in video games, but they gotta be a fucking dork. Like talk at me, okay? Talk at me about what you're doing in your game and min max, then we can talk. Tell me about all your fucking D&D lore of your brand new character, okay? Sit next to me with your Steam Deck. And fucking 1v1 me. I don't know, fucking... Uh, get a call with me. And play a game side by side. You know? Get yourself a D&D DM boyfriend. <laughs> I need a huge dork. I need someone that's gonna fall apart when I give them the look. You know? The, the, this thing, the... Where they absolutely fucking fall to pieces. You know? The schmolder. I need the best of both worlds. This is why I'm VTubing. <laughs> Yes! 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 It's important. So anyway, point being, uh, the dates that I went on in New Zealand were not great. And then I remember being on Bumble not too long ago, and I was kind of like scrolling through, and everyone was... I, this was a TikTok, actually, sorry, about someone making fun of dating in New Zealand, and they were scrolling through their Bumble and the, like what the options were. And everyone was like holding a fucking fish, like a fish that they had fished out. You know what I mean? Like that they had caught. So, <laughs> or they're holding a beer. 
bro. That's fucking New Zealand. All of New Zealand. Top to bottom, North Island, South, South Island. Like, they caught a fish or they're drinking a beer. Okay. Oh, or they're on a fucking dirt bike. Bro, I can't. Or here's the thing. Oh my God. I hope this guy, I don't think he knows that I've got a Twitch. There was this one dude. Guys, do you remember this? He was, he was my, the, the landscaper. Do you guys remember that guy? He was really cute and he had tattoos. And he was really nice because he, he waited to help me bring my computer inside. The dude already had three kids and he was younger than me. Nothing wrong with it, but I was like, oh my God, everyone in New Zealand, because they've only grown up in New Zealand and they never travel outside of New Zealand, they just procreate. They just make babies. Because all they, all they do is like drink and have sex because there's nothing else to do here. It's great here, but there's it's boring here, okay? So I couldn't, like I could, I, 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 I'm moving, let's go. Yeah, they fish and they fuck. Okay. They fuck and they fish and they drink. Mutan said stay inside. Yeah, you, you couldn't find a better place to stay inside. Either slinging fish in lines or dick. <laughs> it's beautiful when everyone drinking and fucking like an actual dream world. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's New Zealand. Add dirt biking and drinking on the weekends leaves the whole week for a fucking let's go. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Um, I I could not for the life of me find anyone here that liked video games as much as I do. I couldn't. You know what happened the other day, actually? Yeah, Katie, if you ever want to come out here, I got you. Um, there was this cute, cute girl that was delivering my contacts. Cute girl, she had a little ponytail, red hair. And she peeked in, she was like, are you a streamer? I was like, yes. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's so cool. You play games? And I was like, yeah. I was like, do, do you play games? She was like, no, I don't play games. My husband does. And I was like, oh, what does he play? And she said, old school RuneScape. She's like, okay, I just always like knowing like what people are streaming. Bye bye. <laughs> it was so cute. Dude, I don't know what it's 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 happened every time. Like I said, like you can see, like when you see like the three fucking monitors set up, the mic, the mixer, the fucking the everything, people know you're some sort of like creator, right? But this happens often like I can't order pizza from a certain place anymore because every time they do, they're like, ask about my stream. I can't order from the only Italian place in my area because this one dude asks me about my stream every time. I can't order Italian anymore. The only time I can have Italian is if I make it myself because I don't want this dude to ask about my stream. Do you know what happened last time that I fucking ordered Italian? The dude handed me my fucking food. It did happen with my plumber, bro. Me too, bro. The guy came in with the toilet because he was replacing the toilet and was like, oh, you stream? Hell yeah. What? I don't want to talk about that. You have my fucking toilet in your hands. The Italian dude fucking, or the guy delivering the Italian food handed it to me. But before letting go, before letting fucking go with my fucking food, he was like, hang on. I was like, what? What's up? What's up? He was like, how's your stream going? I don't want to talk about that. Give me my food. I don't want to talk about that. I'm busy. Don't you don't get enough. It's good. It's great. Bye. You know, like I, I never fucking order from them anymore. What's going on over there? What's going? Hey, what's going on over there, buddy? You guys hear that? <laughs> hey, hey, what's going? What's uh, what's happening? I think he just sees the cat. Um, yes. So there are several places that I can no longer order food from because they know that I'm a streamer. And it's not... See, that the difference between the cute girl with the RuneScape husband is that she didn't ask for my tag or my streamer name. She was like, that's cool. The, bo the All the other ones are men. They were like, what's your tag? I want to follow you. Mm -hmm. 
But, but, the thing I will say is that New Zealand's a little bit different. I think they just are overly excited. They, they, they're nice. It's not, I don't, I don't get a weird vibe from it. I genuinely don't. But, it is, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. But, but, I know they're being nice about it. I, th I already talked about him uh, 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 to him once, but do you guys remember Plant Guy? Plant Store Guy? I, I brought him up before. Plant Store Guy, if you're in here, I haven't seen you around in a while, but I also haven't gone to your plant store. Because I'm still embarrassed. I have, I have not- I need to go! Uh, I have to go to the plant store before I fucking travel. Am I pl Some of my plants are dead because the last time I went to the States, they died. So I have to go to the plant store and I've avoided going to the plant store because the plant store guy knows that I'm a fucking streamer. He knows. He knows. Okay, plant guy. Let me back up for a second, okay? Just go, girl. I I'm, so I'm too embarrassed to show my fucking face. Plant guy. I was streaming in VR one day and plant guy was like, hey, you should come back uh, sometime again with, with your dog. And I was like... What? What, what? And he gifted some bits and then never said anything again. Ne he didn't say anything. And I was like, and he inferred it was like the plant place. And I was like, and it was in the middle of a stream, bro. In full body. And I was like, had a mild panic. Cause I was like. Who knows about my dog? Where have I been with the dog? Ooh, how do they find me? How do they fucking, how do they find, how do they, hey, how do, who? So, <laughs> he let you, he know, you know, he knew, but he didn't dox you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's exactly what happened. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I think we added each other on Discord ages ago, but we haven't, we haven't like talked to each other. But, um, yeah, I went into the plant store not too long after that. And I was like, how the Fuck. How the fuck did you know that? And his coworker was there and he was like, Yeah, she. Uh, he doesn't sound like this. I don't know why I give him a high voice. He was like, Yeah, she's a streamer. And I was like, No. No, 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 I'm not. He was like, Yeah, she is. And she streams for a lot of people. And I was like, No, 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 no. And I got my plan and I went home. I went home, but I one of the plants I got was a very tall house plant on the, from the floor up. And this is when Twin was visiting and he dropped off. He like drove like because they de deliver. He delivered my house plant, came over and Twin and I were outside blowing bubbles in like the really big bubble blower, like the huge like head sized bubble thing. And I was like, do you want to blow some bubbles? I don't know if he's heard me say this because I told this story once already, but he like used all of our soap. So when he left, we didn't really get to blow any bubbles because he used all of it. But he had a really good time. You could tell he was just, he was like, damn, I needed that peace of mind, that mental escape. I really fucking, bubble guy, bubble guy, yes. <laughs> oh, bubble dude, you guys are putting the stories together. Bro, yes, that's bubble guy. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he used them. He had, such, he had such a good time and not a care in the fucking world. Twin and I weren't going to say anything, but I haven't been to the plant place since. And I hope he doesn't know that I said this. I don't think he religiously watches the channel or anything, but if he, in case he does, I, I don't know if he's going to say anything or not. But hey, plant guy, if you're listening, I think it was great. I'm so glad that you had a moment of reprieve. I need to come in soon uh, to uh, get new plants. I love New Zealand. I don't know. His username has like the word sandwich in it or something like that. Just look for sandwich. Literally only a handful of NZ streamers exist. Yeah. So I think that's another contributor is there's like n almost no one streams in New Zealand. An almost fucking no one. And to be frank with you, uh... You know, do you guys remember the first year I started VTubing? Uh, ANZ did this massive thing where I, I had a uh, banner or an advertised billboard. I had a billboard across a whole building in, in New Zealand. Do you guys remember that? 
and I had my face on it because I was like, guys, it's, it's, it's actually when I didn't have enough self, not self-respect, but like confidence to stand up for myself. And I was like, I'm a VTuber. I don't want to show my face. They're like, you have to. Like, we can't just show your VTuber. And I was like, okay, I sure, I guess I'll take a photo because they wanted me with my VTuber. So I do have my face on it, but I got really upset with them because they were like, they didn't understand VTubers at the time. And it's when indies had just started being like coming out and doing VTubing stuff. I think VTubing is a lot more respected and understood these days for sure. But back then they had no idea. So it's like when I said I didn't want to do something, they thought that I was being difficult. But the reality is, is I was trying to keep my anonymity. But yes, people are a lot more knowledgeable now. Um, here's the tweet. Let me see. Yeah, 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 there's the tweet. I look awful, by the way. Don't don't look too hard at that photo. Uh, d d <laughs> I, I didn't like the photo, and I didn't even get to choose the photo that I liked. <laughs> so, yeah, it was on a really big building. It was on a huge building, which was really fucking cool, to be honest. That was great. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. No, I would never do that again, I think. As long as it was just my VTuber, I would. But I would never put myself and put my face out there again like that. Or then I'll just put up what you requested. I tried, but I had to be like, I don't want to work on this anymore because you're not listening. And I think it was just like, they only had so many revisions or opportunities to do this and that. And I don't think they wanted the creators to be so on hand. They just wanted to like take a, fi a, p a picture and go. So it's, it's, it is a bit different now, but it was more difficult back then. Animity, 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 animity. Guys, I think Tyr fell asleep suckling. I don't think I've ever met an animal in my entire life that suckles outside of like kittens. He's like almost a grown ass man. I've never met a dog that suckles long term as an adult. How many of you guys have suckling uh, animals? <laughs> Grown ass man, but a dog. <laughs> What's suckling? To have to look at New Zealand, what region we suggest? Probably North Island. And Auckland is more of a like hustle and bustle. And Wellington, what did I just say? Wellington is very. Like, almost more rural and, and family-like. My ex count- oh my god, why did I read that? You're in Zed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. his eyes are closed and he's just- but I see his little mouth going and- like To his piece of toast. Hey, why do you do that? Why do you do that? What is, what's up with that? Just looking at me. I feel I need to go to NZ for drinking beer and dirt biking now. Don't wake the baby. <laughs> Mother, I'm deranged. Uh, yeah, I, I think I, I think Tear's a little problematic. He's very calm. He's a very sweet boy. But guys, I think I've got a. Per I <laughs> How do I say this? <laughs> I think Tears a little bit gross. <laughs> do you guys? Okay, do you guys have dogs that just like eat your socks? You know what I mean? They just go and they find your clothes, or your sweaty clothes, or your clothes that are worn, and they just find them and they take them. But you have a cat that does. Oh no. I have a cat that eats my underwear. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to break her of this habit. Dude. 
How do you do that? Tear? We'll take my socks and he'll suckle them, but I don't... God, is this inappropriate to say? I, I, I've, I've held a secret for a really long time because it makes me uncomfortable a little bit. Because I've never had an animal in my life. I've had dogs my entire life and family that I've had dogs. But I've never... I've never had a dog that does this. He doesn't do it so much anymore because I'm really like, Bro, this is bad. Don't do this. He will... He will... Hide. And be quiet and try to sneak away and find my underwear. And he will rip them apart. Just rip them, bro. Rip them in half. Doesn't matter if they're in like a bin, like a clothes bin. And then obviously underwear and socks a lot is super common. Oh, thank God. I thought I was the freak. I thought I was the freak because my dog's a freak. Okay? I thought he was a freak and I thought I just had a freak dog and I was embarrassed. I was so fucking embarrassed that my dog does this. Is this the same dog that would get your food when you went to the bathroom a while ago? <sighs> yes! Zoe does the same thing? Thank God. Thank God. I've had dogs that do that too. Lots of dogs that in the trash and eat pa mm -hmm. Why are they so gross? Why are they so fucking sick? They're sick in the head, man. My dog yucked up. Okay, I really like that word. My dog yucked up a pair of underwear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god. It's hard for me because I like to get, I, 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 you know, I'm a grown ass woman. I like to have cute underwear and like half of them are just obliterated now. They're just donezo, dude. I have to hide. I have to hide them from him. I'd rather him eat like his own shit than do this, bro. I'm so tired. Yes, I use a clothes bin. I do. But he will, he will get in the basket and he will like, he'll jump up and try to get it up and open and then just like, and he'll be super quiet about it because he knows that it's bad. He knows that it's wrong. He'll be so quiet about it. So when I'm like, hang on, I haven't heard a song. I, I, I haven't heard a sound for an extended period of time. That's a bad thing. So if I'm like, hang on, I'll bear back. I have to go check on the dogs because that's what they may be doing. He's sneaky. The way I solved that problem was to not wear underwear. <laughs> I remember when Dewey plunged shit in the walls too! I remember that! Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was real bad. The greatest, like, fear of any pet parent is silence. Oh, dude. It's bad. More justification to get new pairs. That's true. That is- I actually- Cabal, I do use that as an excuse. Like, well... These are ruined, so... I can just get new ones. Have you tried a hanging basket? No. Hmm. I keep my bedroom door closed. Okay, so I live in a kind of like an- like a... Like a beach house, in a way, and the doors don't close very well, so if they- he just pushes enough weight, the bathroom door will open. Do you keep the ruined ones for them or do you throw them? I throw them out. What? I, I, why would I keep them? I don't know. <laughs> That's a regular that asks that. <laughs> I don't know why we keep them. <laughs> Have you tried putting tear in a basket? That's a good idea. That's a solid idea, actually. That's the problem. Let them keep it. No, I've been down this road before. I used to let him keep my socks whenever he ruined them. And he'd keep accu accumulating them over and over. Anytime I would take my socks off, like from the gym or something, he would be like, that's mine. That's mine. And that's mine too. So that's actually completely opposite. You're not supposed to let them have it. 
He gets used to that. Like, they're all his. Yeah. So it's, that's the complete opposite thing you're supposed to do. I wish my roommates would learn this lesson. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck kind of thinking is this? I mean, if they're constantly ripping your underwear, if you keep the junked underwear, they might not eat the new ones. How does that logic work? He's not going to go, oh, this looks like a new pair of underwear and I have the old pair. I'll just stick with the old one. Have you had a dog before? You can dump cayenne pepper powder in the clothes bin. Oh, <gasps> slime, bro. That's actually a really smart idea. That's smart. I think I'm going to do that. That's absolutely genius. You're fucked now, Tyr! He's so cute, though. Out of Tui and Tyr, he's the most calm and loving and sweet boy. He's just a little freak. He's just a psycho freak pervert. But I, I love him so much. He's, he's really grown into his own personality these days. Like, for instance, he's hyper aware that when it's time for me to throw the ball for Tui, he doesn't want anything to do with it. He will politely lay down right next to me very calmly for pets while he watches Tui. So much so that I will go out in the middle of the yard and be like, come on, Tyr, let's throw the ball. And he will sit at the steps and be like, no, I don't want to do that. No. No. I'll just sit here and wait until you're done with that. I'm not going to get the ball. I'm cool. Would you say that he's a good boy? Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> good boy! Good boy! Good boy! You're a good boy! Tui hates it. Tui hates it. I think Tui's trying to hump him. I'm not sure what's going on right now. Good boy! Good boy! Yeah, you're a good boy. I love you. Good boy. <laughs> Tui does not like him being a good boy. Tui, good girl! She still, she doesn't like that either. She doesn't like that she's not... Uh-oh. <laughs> Are you good, Tui? <laughs> she's so mad! I'm not a good girl! <laughs> She mad. Come here. Come here. No more. Okay. I'm sorry that I said he's a good boy, okay? I'm sorry. You're also a good girl. Okay. You're great. You're so good at everything you do as a dog, okay? You're so good. You're, so, you're great. You're so you're you're really doing a good job. Don't he, she just jumps on him, just jumps on his whole head, you know? She's got, she's, she's just a lot. She's a lot. <laughs> she, he's not doing anything. Can you leave him alone now? He's just existing. It's small dog syndrome, bro. I don't know how to work with small dog syndrome. I've always had like German shepherds and huskies. So Tui's just been... Two is a lot, you know. 
One day we're just gonna have Tui unsheathing a sword in the background and Lena's gonna scream and the stream will die. Oh, yes. Yep. Yep. Tear existing. Tui, I have a problem with that. Oh. Yes. I love your teeth. Thank you. Thanks. You guys not... Hold on. Here you go. I really love seeing how many people win fangs. It makes me feel happy and normal because I know that there was a time where I was the weird one. Dexy, hey, welcome on in. Welcome back for 16 months and happy birthday! What did you do for your birthday today? I love vampires. People shy. I like vampires too, personally. Do you not want to be the weird one? Mm, I don't mind being weird, but I also have this uh, insatiable need to not be hated or be thought I'm weird. To just be accepted, I guess, even as a weird adult. <laughs> you know? What place do you get that done? I just... My local dentist. Are the bottom teeth done too? No, those are just natural. The only things done are my canines. I got you, bud. Yeah, dude. It's, uh... I'm feeling better like in the past year about my confidence and stuff. But I think as you get older, you're kind of like, oh, fuck. You know, dealing with your confidence and stuff like that. Weird in a quirky way and not weird in a social outcast way. Yes, 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 absolutely yes. I don't think I have anything else to say. I kind of want to play After Dream now. Is there anything else that we got to catch up on? Oh, and yes, tomorrow is still on Fiction with Tomato, in case anyone was wondering about that. Um, and if we, if either of us cancel for the billionth time, then I, I'm, I'm going to delete my channel. I'm just going to delete it. I'm just going to delete my whole life. So you can hold me to that. Did you figure out your audio stuff outside of Spotify? Yeah, I did. That's the page all. Welcome back for three months. And thank you so much for the bits, dude. Yes, Eternal Darkness is this weekend. I'm looking forward to the insanity. I fucking love. I love streaming with Tomato, dude. Nothing makes me happier. Except for maybe like... Nope. That's it. <laughs> uh, anything else? Anything else? I've already got a good recommendation for series after Alan that could work as a low effort during your that actually would be great. Any like I don't want to call it low effort, but things like that take a little bit less brain power would be that it would be great. That would be great. Thank you, Nocturne. Low focus. Opinion on air fried pizza rolls. I don't know what. I don't. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, actually, no. Wait, sorry. Cap just mentioned something. Okay, I want to have a little bit of a serious, like a mildly serious conversation with you guys. And I was going to do it in my Discord, but I didn't want it to be taken out of context. So I want to say this, and I don't know if I should have said it in private, but. <sighs> I, please, I'm fucking begging for you guys to please not look too hard into what I'm about to say. 
But remember a long time ago when I was like, uh, I guess, you know, VTuber communities only like giant tits. So I guess my new canon lore is that my tits get bigger with the more blood I have. And it was more of my way of accepting in that like lewdness into my community. I, I don't want that anymore. I don't want that anymore. I, I love all of you guys that have been putting together so many fucking stellar NSFW pieces. But there was one, and I gotta tell, I cap, uh, I should, I just, you know what I'm talking about, but there is one that got recently, I was shown, I didn't get a chance to say anything about it yet, it's still beautiful, but most of the not safe for work fan arts I've gotten, my tits are all, like, overly massive, not just their big tits, they're so, like, overly uncomfortably, like, where I'm holding them with both of my arms, like, they're children like gasping for fucking air like planet-sized titties bro i'm not okay i'm i'm not okay with it anymore and i don't want it i don't want that i don't want it and i just it's it's so massive and i was like okay it's fine like because it's you guys you it's like i appreciate you and i never want my community to feel like i don't appreciate them But it's been this pattern that's been over and over and over and the reality is is that when i first made my vtuber because she's kind of a reflection of me is i want there to be more small small boob representation in the community um i love tits of all sizes and shapes but there's not enough representation of like big ass or big thighs and shapes and then like really small titties you know what i mean and that's kind of what my vtuber was supposed to be um and i think the gigantic boob although i understand it, it's because it's the norm in our community to have big honkers but i'm uh, for me and my VTuber going forward and artwork, I prefer if she had like an AB cup, if that is okay. Um, but just, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. I, lo I love all different body shapes. I just want more representation of my body type. Yeah, exactly what Cabal said. So please, I say that with love in my heart and i do appreciate so much um this is a very specific like lovely group of community members and they've been so kind and so sweet to make so much awesome artwork like seriously i mean it with such positivity um <clears throat> so whatever you do don't take it like bad or personally i just want it like going forward especially because if the live 2d model comes out within the next few months i just want my character to be represented properly so it's the whole like i wish i could show it on stream but i can't so i'll show it in the discord after the stream but the body type of like just having really small tits but the like long legs and thick thighs and a nice ass and just like oh it's like there's something about that look where you're just like damn fuck that's nice like a little pear-shaped hand like a like a handful of titty you know what i mean um but yeah i think it just took me a little bit of time to figure out what I wanted, what I was comfortable with. And initially, I just wanted the community to be like, do whatever you want. Because it's not, it's not me, you know? Um, yeah, my, my community is just absolutely pumped out so much brilliant work. And there's so much that I haven't even posted because I haven't like had the mental capacity to do so. And I really should, but I do appreciate you guys a lot, a lot, a lot. But I think that if we put some more body types especially in the vtuber community i don't know maybe just maybe more women of different shapes and sizes will feel more accepted and more open to not like we don't have to have big tits for our vtubers you know what i mean you, you like you we can have a vtuber model with small tits and still be just as delicious you know what i mean Fuck. i like small boobs all right <laughs> Fillion is flat. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna play after dream now. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, flat is justice. Uh. Oh no, please don't include that in context. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. Damn. Um, anyway, that's all I wanted to say, just in case, because I, I was thinking about it and I felt it and I totally forgot to mention it, but I did want to say it like with my voice so that it didn't seem like I was being called in text. But yeah, thank you for, for listening. Um, you know what does make me feel protected though in the community is ExpressVPN. It protects me and from being doxxed and keeps my information private. Uh, no one can attack my computer from the inside or outside because I am fully protected using Express VPN. Uh, so if you want to try it and you want to stay protected while you're browsing all places of the internet that you don't want anyone to know about, uh, especially if you just want to watch that brand new season of Love is Blind on Netflix, but you can't get it. So you have to pretend that you are somewhere else. You can use that with ExpressVPN.com. And you're like, you know what? I, I, pff, I don't have any money. Well, you can get it three months free using ExpressVPN.com slash Lena today. So don't worry, I've got you covered. Don't be unprotected while you browse the internet today. All right, let's get to this fucking game already. Goodness me. Oh, that's me. That is me. That's me. This is also me. That was fun. That was nice. I'm standing and clapping. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I became one of the 13 people in New Zealand. Smile. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious me. Twitch window jump scare, bro. Yeah, I should have checked if that was on. Fuck me. Uh, okay. I don't know how many of you guys, how many of you guys have not seen this game before. And before we jump in, I think that I'm going to show you this game. So one second. After Dream Trailer. I want you guys to be hyped for this game because it's fucking awesome. One sec. Let me make myself smaller. Me. I had the most vivid dream. Dream like no other. Would you describe this dream to me? I can feel my body as if I were awake. I can see my fingers casting shadows. I can smell the damp and moldy air. I could see and feel all the little details a dream should blur. That dream. Dream. Take a deep breath. Would it help you to focus if you closed your eyes? Yeah, I can try. And now, please, tell me more about your dream. Wait, someone has to pee? Someone has, someone has to pee? Holding? We can wait. Go pee. Hey, Yidi, welcome back for 16 months. This is a perfect bite-sized sample of this channel and why I love being here. Oh. Oh, because I started talking about tits. Oh, I don't, don't know why I didn't read the first part of that. Okay. <clears throat> very cool, very cool, very cool. Nice, 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 nice.
Are your eyes supposed to be one color or meant to change depending on direction? Uh, they glow. Here, check this out. I can change them to be any color, really. So if I wanted them to be like red, I just change the bloom color like this. You guys want the red today. Thank you for waiting. Hi! Of course! Welcome back! Hey! Hey! Opa! Okay. <clears throat> uh, my eyes in order? Yes. Okay, can we change to after dream? Please! Without further ado! Classic green? Okay, wait, hang on. Just kidding. We're just kidding. I'm just kidding. Classic green. Classic green. Was it like this? I can't remember. It's very bright. I don't think these two colors go together. Guys, the only reason why I had greenish in my eyes is because my eyes are naturally hazel. They're like a bright green hazel. I like the blue one. Uh-oh. Who wants what? Who Who wants it? They're all good. Okay, I'll just change colors throughout the game. How about that? Okay. All right, can you guys hear this loud and clear? Welcome to After Dream. Are you ready to play? Also, this is a lot of flashing lights, so flashing lights warning to anyone who is not great with flashing lights. Also, you, welcome on in. Thank you so much. And Kaz, welcome back. She only plays games I can't watch. I'm, it's horror. It's a horror situation. It is a horror thing. I don't know why they use a lot of flashing lights. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I will, I will, I will cross my fingers that there's not a lot of it today. Press E to progress the dialogue. I think it's going to be a lot of reading. <clears throat> I had the most vivid dream. Dream like no other. Would you describe this dream to me? I'm lying in an unfamiliar bed, staring at the ceiling. I don't recognize this place. I can feel my body as if I were awake. How does this sound with the new mic? All the reading. Channel setting up channel points to toggle the color would be great. I think Eastbright's gone right now, but I'll ask him if that's a, if we can do that because I think that we can. I can see my fingers casting shadows. I can smell the damp and moldy air. I guess what I'm trying to say is that. I could see and feel all the little details a dream should blur. As if you weren't a mere spectator of your dream? Yeah. Something like that. I'm sorry. Please go on. I'm still just chatting? Okay, mods. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got it. It's okay. It is such an uncanny feeling. I... I don't know how to describe it. A dream. You're in a safe place. Take a deep breath. Would it help if you closed your eyes? Try to focus and tell me more about this dream of yours. Yeah. Okay. So, I got up from the maggot-eaten bed. Where am I? What the? 
Th these aren't my clothes. Why am I wearing a suit? What the actual fuck is going on? I'm gonna make myself a little smaller uh, before we start. That's better. Press and hold A and D to walk. Press E to interact. Hi, Max. Yeah, I played the demo and I really, really liked it. The tub is full of some shitty smelling liquid. It isn't water, that's for sure. There's nothing but dust and dirt here. Also, just so I understand, how loud is the game? Is the game like, is the game a nice volume for you guys? I just want to keep asking because this mixer is new for me and I want to be sure that everything sounds nice and clear. It is? Okay, okay. It's locked. I need to find the key or something else to unlock it with. Hello? Is anyone here? Can anyone hear me? I need to get out of here. The door is locked. Nothing here that I can use. What's with all these cardboard boxes anyway? Huh. Looks like there's something in the oven. The oven door seems to be stuck, though. I'm sure there's something I can do about it. You can leave the puzzle by pressing Q. Well, I remember this puzzle. No point guessing. Why not? I need the right combination. It won't even let me guess. Okay. The fridge door is jammed. Besides, I wouldn't need anything I find here. It's an old and dirty jacket. There could be something in the pockets. Found a bobby pin. Okay. Nope. Okay. Huh? Where's the door? How the hell am I supposed to get out now? Okay, maybe I can use the bobby pin? The lock is way too big for being lock picked with a bobby pin. Okay. It's a moldy wooden basket. Luckily, I don't have to touch it. So maybe there's something I can use a bobby pin for in here? It's locked. I've never attempted to lockpick anything. How hard can it be? Okay, it, I can only use A, D, and W, S, so I don't know how... Like, I'm used to a mouse. Right? Oopsie! Shit, fuck. Shit. God, fuck. Let me try that again. So how do I do this with... I see. I see. Okay. I actually haven't played Inmost yet, and I really want to play Inmost. Actually. Okay, if I go here. Nice! That's actually kind of fun. I did it. Okay, what's in here? Okay. I got a key. I really, 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 really like the visual style of this game. Maybe the key? He should fit in here. Alright, now it's unlocked. I don't usually pick up all sorts of junk, but I feel like I might need this. Okay. The bathtub is empty, so... Unless you count the dead cockroaches. Why does everything have to be so dirty in here? I love textured pixel art, man. This looks so good. Oh, Tui's asleep. Oh, 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 she's so cute when she sleeps. There's one filthy mirror. The towel's too dry to clean the mirror. What? The sink under the mirror is busted. I can't soak the towel here. Wait, what? Why? I thought I could clean off the mirror if I had a dry towel. That doesn't make sense. Wait, come again? I can't see anything from it without wiping it first. And it's too dry to clean the mirror. The sink under the mirror is busted. Okay, so I need to go find a sink. Like a clean sink, I guess. Oh, I can't do that. 
Hmm. Another sink somewhere? And what's in here again? Okay, that's the bathroom. And then if I go in here, it's the... I want to use a towel. Oh, the bathtub. You guys are so fucking right, eh? There's no water. I can't soak the towel here. Okay. Anonymous, welcome back for six months. Where else can we soak the towel? Can I put the towel on this door? Okay, no, I didn't like that. How do I turn the sink on? Moldy wooden... No point in trying that. Okay, but why not? I think this was all in the demo, I've already forgotten. Oh... Towel. Just pee on it! Towel. Okay. Towel. I can't soak the towel here, though I wish I wouldn't have to. Oh, I can! Oh, I soaked the towel in the fucking shit bucket! Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back, Raptor. The tub is full of some shitty smelling liquid. Okay, I've got a shitty smelling liquid towel. Very cool. Yeah, peeing on it definitely would have been better. Alright, let's get this mirror clean. Sorry, I don't know what they're barking at. Well, I wouldn't call it clean, but that'll have to do. It's clean up to make out the numbers in the bottles. Two, wait, fuck! It literally says seven! Seven, two, two. Seven, two, two. Seven, two, two. Hello? That was weird. Yeah, I don't know why the devs want us to clean a mirror with a shit-covered rag. I do not know. I had a perfectly normal rag. Seven, seven. Oh, oh, uh, oh, you. Oh, I hate that. I hated that. All right, what do we have here? I found a camera in the in the in the uh, oven. The oven. Press Q to use your camera. This is so cool! I love this game so much. Once the camera is focused, take a photo by pressing E. What the hell? The door appeared from thin air. What kind of camera is this? I love this game. Holy shit. Fuck yeah. Door is locked. Is anyone here? I don't know what's going on. Visiting save points. Was it what are the save points? Oops. What are the save points? I saved the game. Okay. Hello? And again. I must have lost my marbles. Just... How? I, I don't get it. There's a fuse missing labeled elevator. No wonder the elevator doesn't work. Okay. Hello? Good evening. I see you're carrying the camera. That means you must be the camera operator. Uh... What's the matter? Can't go out your tongue. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know where I am. I don't know how I got here. I, I sure as hell don't know what you're on about. Yes, I can see your face is holding a very peculiar expression. Well, I suppose I may have been mistaken. I do. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the elevator isn't working. It seems to be missing a fuse. Ah, yes, it's old news, I'm afraid. 
The uh, old lady keeps frying the fuses like cheap old toaster. And that's why I always carry a spare one. That's great news. I need to get out of this place. Can I have the fuse? Uh, pretty please. Also, hold on. Can I please? Can I please? Can I please turn off the lights? The strobe reduce flashing. <gasps> oh, good job, you guys. Thank God. Reduce the flashing was hurting my eyeballs. Is that even making a difference? Kind of? And then... Off? On. Huh. Hmm. It is a little slower. Still a bit bothersome. Well, look at this. I smell an opportunity. Oh, great. What do you want from me, then? I came here to collect some food for the dinner party. Ew. It's gross. Fucking hate food. Who the fuck eats food? Surely there's nothing to eat here. Well, I gotta take out the dog. He's yelling at me. One second. Oh, can you hear me say good boy? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I've been... <laughs> I've been very proud of uh, Tyr because he's slowly understood the concept of letting me know when he needs to go to the bathroom. And when he does, he's very happy about it. Um, it's taken a bit because I think small dogs, let alone like puppies that are like barely over a year old, uh, take a bit to potty train. Uh, and, um, yeah, he's, he'll look at me and be like, but he gets a treat every time he goes to the bathroom outside, so he's, like, really excited about it when he gets it, right? Chewie, not so much. Chewie, I, I'll take her outside for, like, an hour, and I'll, like, try to make her fucking piss. And she'll look at me and she'll sit down and she'll be like, ball? Ball? And then I'll let her inside and she'll piss the second I fucking let her inside. Of course, there are these little, like, pee pads, but... I don't know. She's really annoying about it. Puppies pee for no reason all the time! She's an inside pisser. <laughs> It's really hard with, like, small dogs, because, of course, with small doggies, you use, like, puppy pants. It's very hard to get them to grow out of that. So. Oh, wait. What are you looking for, anyway? Anything that resembles food. We're not too picky. Fine. I'll find something for you and your friends to eat. Fabulous! Please take this jar. You can store whatever food you find in it. Please, just make sure there's plenty of it. Sure. All right, I got a jar. Goodbye. Put food in jar. Put food in jar. Food in jar. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Food. Oh, shit. Lights are out. As if this wasn't creepy enough already. How the hell am I supposed to find anything to eat here? Press F to shoot from the hip with your camera to see briefly in the dark. Oh shit. There could be something to eat in the fridge, but it's stuck. Cardboard box is empty. Dead cockroaches. Would that work? Empty jar. I believe crickets are high in protein, so why not cockroaches? Aww. 
There's nothing in the sink. Okay. There's nothing to eat in the drawer. I have no idea what the liquid is, but it looks like there's some floating bits of meat in it. All right, goes in the fucking jar. This will make a fine sauce. Lena's new audio sounds better? Really? You guys think that I sound okay? You guys like my voice? I don't know why I'm talking with a high pitched voice. I do that when I'm kind of nervous and shy. Mm. No burrs. Someone said no burrs. Did you mean otters? Streamers sound good. Oh. I'm just gonna text one second. Your voice is wonderful. Thank you. Alright, I need to find more food for the jar. Nothing suitable for eating here. Nothing suitable for eating here either. Hmm, this is empty, empty. This is stuck, but I wonder if we can take a photo. It's open! Oh god, I'm so fucking smart. What a disgusting stench. Is that cheese? Fuck yeah, put it in the goddamn jar. We're done. Oh, he's gonna love this. They're proper crazy if they're gonna eat this shit. Hello? Hello? What the hell was that? Let's go look! I think we should go look at the weird creepy thing that just happened. Hello? Wait, I didn't see anything. What was that? Hello? Huh. There's nothing. There's nothing anywhere. Okay, alright, it was nothing. Nothing happened. Anyway, off we go. Hey dude, check this out. Here you go. The most refined culinary delicacy the strange place has. I'm guessing, at least. Let me see what you've brought to me. Mm, yes, what an aroma! Huh. That... That means... You like it? Oh, yes, yes, my acquaintances and I are delighted. Yeah, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, you know what? No, never mind, doesn't matter. Can I please just have the fuse? This place gives me the creeps. I want to go. Of course, I'm out of my word. Here you go. Bye. He literally just fucked off. Okay, should have asked what's going on. All right. Hey, old man. Is that me? Am I yelling at the old man? Hmm. He's gone now. Huh? Where did he go? I inserted the fuse. The power for the elevator should be back on. Say that again. I really like the save sound. Come on, work now, okay? Yes! What's, ha what's happening? What's happening? Shit, something's trying to break through the doors. Come on, elevator. Uh, I need to do something. Okay, what? What am I doing? What? What's? Uh, what am I doing? What do I? What am I? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Can I run? Is there a run option? And am I just gonna casually walk? I can't go. Where am I going? <laughs> Do I do something? Oh my god, am I gonna die? Hey, 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 hey. Are you alright? Sorry, I got lost in my thoughts for a second there. My memory is a bit... hazy about that particular part. I could swear I got to the elevator. That's quite a dream. How does that make you feel? Well, it's hard to believe it was my... It was only a dream. 
I can't emphasize enough how real it felt. Is there something in particular that makes you feel that? Everything. Think about being awake and conscious, but knowing it's only a dream. It's scary and strange. Yes, it does sound curious. Dreams can be lively, but what you're describing sounds something more. Oh, it's only getting weirder from here. I... Um... I'm not even sure it was a dream. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I can tell this is difficult for you. Remember, you're in a safe place. I suggest we continue with your experience. But only if you feel comfortable in doing so. Yeah, okay. Where was I? You told me you stepped into the elevator. Ah, yeah, that's right. Ooh, this is new. This doesn't look right. I must be dreaming. Oh, I like the sound of the scrunch under her feet. Or him, I don't know. Okay. However, I could unlock the door by inserting something into the two slots. I haven't seen one of these in a while. No cassette, however. Hello, you were my recommended and I wanted to come see what's going on. Hi, my name's Lena. I stream horror games sometimes. Usually all the time. Uh, and we're playing a game called After Dream. It's a new game that came out last week and I've really been excited to play it. I forgot that Lena was normally on high resolution. I've only seen PXF's version for so long. I should have used it today, actually. But what the fuck kind of puzzle is this? Nothing seems to happen. I was looking at it. Perhaps I should come back later. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, what's this? Just more junk in here. Nothing I can use. There's a... No power or or power button. Just, just TV. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it be crazy if it crashed and there was just like the PSX model? How crazy would that be? That'd be so crazy. Ha. Huh. Hello? It's so quiet. Beautiful, even. What do we have here? It's an old and untitled cassette. Alright, we know where that goes. Save that right there. I'm gonna go find the uh, little cassette player real quick. Here we go. Cassette for he That was spooky. All right, so it's triangle, circle, X, triangle, circle. X, triangle, wait. What did I just say? Triangle, circle, X, triangle, circle. Triangle, circle, X, triangle, circle. Triangle, circle, X, triangle, circle. Triangle, circle, Triangle, circle, X, triangle, circle. Triangle, circle, X, triangle, circle. Triangle, circle, S, triangle, circle. Triangle, circle, S, triangle, circle. Triangle, circle, S, triangle, circle. What was it? Triangle, circle, X, triangle, circle. There was a machine somewhere here. Ah! What? I'm back where I started. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Triangle, circle, X... Wait, where's that little... Ah, it's right here. Oh, this has nothing to do with triangle, circle, X. Wouldn't that be cool if I just, like, got it? If I just nailed it? And it worked? How cool would that be? So, Ivan, welcome back. Okay, so there's a code there for something that I'm unaware of. What's this door? 
Okay, there's a weird door there. I really wish I could walk faster. What is this door for? I don't know. Where do we go now? Is there any place we haven't been yet? I think I'm going in circles. I don't see anything that needs a code with this. I have no fucking idea. I'm already kind of stumped. I don't know. Now what? Also, Ken, welcome back. I see the symbols. Can I tell where? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Am I, is this something I'm not seeing? Is it on the wall somewhere? Camera on doors. Oh, you're so freaking smart. Also, thank you for saying the new audio setup sounds good. I'm glad. Uh, Q. Oh, uh, oh, I keep on forgetting I have a camera. What was it? Okay, what was it again? Triangle. Isn't it triangle X? Cir triangle circle X? Tri is it triangle circle X triangle circle? So it's triangle circle. Triangle circle x triangle circle no 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 how did you find me uh i i i was just um great now i have to find a new place to hole up what does one need to do to be left alone i'm sorry i i didn't i didn't want their company nor their sympathy i just want to be left alone Okay. Okay. Right. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. How are we feeling so far about this, by the way? Are you guys... Is this a, is this a game you're... Oops. Are you guys liking it? Are you okay? Would you guys rather me try to beat the last boss in Liza P? It feels kind of podcasty. Really? It's crazy because you, you guys go quiet, but then I say something and everyone just... It's like you guys are... Are you guys getting cozy with me? Are you guys like... This is what is happening right now? <laughs> it's like everyone's just kind of cozy. <laughs> you guys are all there! <laughs> okay. I was getting really nervous for a minute. Okay. Okay. You guys are very cute. Oh, okay. It's actually more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Okay, good. Sometimes I bite my lip on accident with my fangs. So I'm trying to get used to that. Okay. Okay, okay. It's an empty canvas. Why would anyone put this up on display? There's something inlaid on the wall. I'll take a closer look. <laughs> ah! 
Okay. <laughs> What's up, Jupiter? I was listening to the sound. <laughs> I was thinking because it all sounded different when you when you turned it, but maybe that's not true at all. But there's a note on the table. I'm feeling lost and disconnected. I caught a glimpse of myself in the water and no longer recognize what I saw. I feel like I've lost my identity. I need to end things. Maybe I could disappear. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is Lockpicking Lawyer, and today... Uh, I wonder where I can... Oh, these are... Interesting. Where do I put this purple gemstone? Bum bum... Ba -da bum bum bum... Bum 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 bum... Purple gemstone goes... Ah, I see. It looks like I can insert the purple gemstone here. There you go. All right, bye-bye. How are you liking this game so far? I'm liking it. I really, really like the atmosphere. I really like puzzle games. I really like anything like that brings something new to the table with horror. So, so far, I'm really enjoying it. What do you think, chat? I don't know what the fuck this is, but we got to figure it out. I don't know. Absolutely try it, Tiffany. Also, shout out to Tiffany. I enjoy it. Okay, so there's no power here. There's nothing to look at over here. I'm going to try to look at the walls. Maybe there's something that I'm not seeing. That's something that's obvious. Aw, Ren, thank you. You guys are very sweet. Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't... Oopsie. Did anyone press that button? Maybe the elevator? Okay, so we can't go back. There's nothing on this side. The camera. You're so gosh darn right, chat. Okay, let's put this away. Let's keep going. What else could we use the camera on? Hmm. Anything here that we could be used? Let's just take a look at every room with a camera, I think. Anything on this table? Okay. Oh, on the TV! That's a great idea! Yeah, this game uses the concept of a camera. And it's really, really cool. You find, like, little hints and tricks and tips using the camera. Oh, there's a, there's a balloon, and it makes a sound. Ooh. Where did the balloon go? Huh, the balloon popped. I don't want to leave the rubber trash behind. My parents have taught me well. I've got trash now. All right, maybe I put the trash in the trash can. I know that there's a trash can here somewhere. All right. Trash belongs in the trash can. Okay. See? Something good happens when you recycle. A present. God, I love this game. For me? Oh. Hello? Good evening. I'm delighted to meet you, visitor. Uh, yep. Don't be scared. I can perfectly understand your confusion. <clears throat> Allow me to explain what's going on here. You're not in your world. You're not dreaming nor fully awake. You're here to reunite with your recently deceased loved one. Oh, that's cool and all, but I, I kind of want to go home now. I uh, don't understand how I got here. <laughs> yes, I suppose it will take time to accept all this. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything, but you may want to hear me out. 
you've been granted a rare opportunity. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I'll play along. What am I doing here? Yes. How should I put this? See, I'm something you could call a ghost. And so are the others you'll meet here. A ghost? Yes. Unfortunately, we can't feel the way you do. We can't feel thirst and bliss in fulfilling the need. That's, uh, that's horrible! Yes, well, we're not precisely numb, either. It's hard to explain how and what we are. Uh, yeah, I can relate to that on some level. <laughs> yes, you wouldn't be here otherwise. <clears throat> I see you've already found the camera. You must have noticed it's not an ordinary camera. I sure did. The camera is something we ghosts can't operate. And that is the very reason you are here. See, our little venue here is quite a peculiar place. We're somewhere between the world of the living and the so-called afterlife. When people pass away, they usually take a one-way trip to the afterlife, however. On scarce occasions, someone from the afterlife tries to reach the world of the living. The place is the closest they can get to achieving that. And that is the purpose of our little venue. Yeah, I, I still don't get it. Why am I here? Please, bear with me. I'll get to that soon, I promise. Hmm... <clears throat> The portal must be open when someone from the afterlife tries to reach this place. That's where you and the cameras step in. Somewhere there is a unique object that holds personal value to you. Without a better word, we simply call it a portal object. It acts as a key for the portal. Your task is to find this object. I don't mean to be rude, but like, wh why, wh why would I do that? You lost someone dear to you, didn't you? You are here. Someone is trying to be here for you. No, 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 no. That, that, uh, that, that, that can't be. That's, that's impossible. I understand that's a lot to take in. By opening the portal, you also help us ghosts. As long as the portal remains open, you can wholly feel again. Really? <clears throat> yes, I... Don't know why it works the way it does. I wish Riley were here to explain this to you. Who's Riley? Riley is a scientist who disappeared a good while ago. Huh. Anyhow, we've made a habit of organizing a dinner party. It's a rare opportunity and we are desperate for it. I helped someone collect food for the dinner party. You don't want to eat that, though. You must have met the old fox. That guy is such a comedian. I wouldn't take him too seriously. Huh, so you're not gonna eat it, then? It's most likely to keep the rats away from our feast. Well, <laughs> that, that's a relief. Okay, uh, let's say I'll play along. Where can I find this portal object? What does it look like? I wish I could help you, but the portal object is always something of personal value. Unfortunately, I can't help you find it. Huh. Okay, then. How do I know when I find the portal object? Don't worry. You'll know when you find it. Am I, am I, am I in danger? I'm afraid not all ghosts are human. But me and my companions were, were decent folks. You do not need to be scared of us. Well, that, that yes, that is a lot to digest. I uh, better start looking, then. Godspeed. And then we just stand and stare at each other for a minute. Awkwardly. Uh, I'm gonna take this. Ooh, a remote. I'm sure I saw a television somewhere. Can't talk to this guy anymore. Bye! Oh. Okay. Alright, off we go to the TV area. Okay. Ghosts. Portal object. The hell is he smoking? This should work. Hello? Did it? Huh. Just snow. Not very helpful. But what if?
Ah, no more snow. Okay, what's happening here? Something, a curtain opened. Uh, elevator curtain uh, clock. Elevator cur curtain clock. All right. We got it. Off we go. Well, well, well. It's an old grandfather clock. Why was it hidden behind a curtain? Okay. What? Camera? The grandfather clock is gone. Only a pendulum remains. Ooh, touch that. I'll take it. Thank you very much. What the fuck do I do with a pendulum? What do I do with this? Pendulate. A pendulum. I wonder if I can put it on that, that like, uh... The box. Can I put it on the box? It looks like I insert the pendulum here. Done. Ooh, I love puzzles, bro. I fucking love them. I wonder if they're all supposed to be at 50 or something. Take that. I'm so good. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, that's nice. I have such a big brain, dude. My brain's so big. I just get gaming. I'm just good at it. Gaming's my passion. Where is the door? Hey, you! Have you seen my cap? Um... No, no, I don't- I don't think so. Dude, this is a bot. Talking about them? Uh, no, I don't think so. God damn it! Where on earth could it be? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I could help. No, thank you. Obviously, my cap's not here. I'll search elsewhere. But damn it! Okay. What the fuck was that? Looks like I insert the green gemstone here and open the door and go through it. You mentioned that you've been interacting with ghosts. What do you believe this signifies? I must sound like a broken record, but the dream felt... inseparable from real life. Regarding the ghosts, I got an explanation for why I was there. Yes, that's curious. To find yourself between the world of the dead and the living. That must be scary. Do you often feel that way? I... Hmm... Sometimes, I suppose. Yes, I see. Let's change the subject. You told me you lost your father recently. My condolences. Would you tell me what happened? Thank you. My dad got a heart attack. He was alone. I... I'm sorry. Telling this must be painful for you. I'm very sorry for your loss. I wasn't there for him. He died alone. I should have been there. I should have known. I must feel terrible. Yet, it would be best if you didn't blame yourself. It's not unusual as to dwell on such thoughts. 
Try being easier on yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I only wish I'd told him I loved him when I had the chance. Yes, that is very understandable. And now, in your dream, you could get that chance. Let's change the subject. Would you be willing to participate in a bit of research? Hmm, like what? To put it simply, I'm researching fear. It's something I hold a great interest in. It sounds like your narrative has signs of terror in it. Participating in the study could benefit your recovery. Yeah. Okay. How do we how do we do it? I will read a statement out loud and you tell me whether you disagree on a scale of one to five. Base your answers on the story you've told me so far. Okay. I need to warn you. The questions might sound a bit off. I can guarantee you they're carefully selected. I ask you to close your eyes and focus. Alright, then shoot me. I had never been more afraid in my life. What are we- what, 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 what are we chat? What are we- what? What are we doing this for? What are we scaling? How- how- how scared we feel when we hear the sentence? What? In relation to the dream? Maybe? I think he did say that. Uh, I've never been more afraid of my life. Mm. No, it wasn't that bad. I was more afraid of what I couldn't see. No, that wasn't so bad either. I had a camera. The outlandish setting felt frightening. Ah. The structure of the dream felt compelling. Yeah. I felt strange sadness. I'm a little bit neutral. I wanted the dream to end. No. Oh. Well, uh... Huh. Okay. What just happened? Hello? Hello? What the fuck is that smell? There's no way of going in there. Okay. Uh, maybe this way? It's too dark. I can't go that way. How am I supposed to get out of here? Hello? Hello? Anyone? Please. What is happening? The sun, the last goodbye, the message remains buried, we will show you here. No! Get away from me. Help. Look, beyond. Okay, maybe the camera? A balloon. It looks like a head. Shit. Take that. String is made of hair. What the fuck? It's so gross. What the fuck? This, uh... <laughs> this, uh, can't be right. Am I still dreaming? No. No, no, this can't be a dream. Feels too real. Oh, the scrunchy sounds are so good. Shit. Door's locked. Oh, no. Oh, wait, sorry, I have, to, I have to stand over here to speak to you. I thought I heard something. 
Hey, it's pretty chilly in here. Are you cold? I I know I am. I wish. I can't feel a cold the way you can. Ah, uh, right, the ghost thing. Yes! I, uh, I'm looking for something. I, I need to get inside. Can you help me? I'm waiting for my choir. They should be here soon. Also, Pro, thank you so much and welcome on in. I can't let you in. A choir? Huh. Yes! There's something in the house, in the well. Huh? You don't need to worry about that. If you try the door, it is now accessible. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yep. All right. Hmm. What's that all about? Shit, I'm freezing. I hope it's warmer inside. I'm... What did you just say, Yeti? Still cold? It's cold. It's so cold. Hey, you. I... You don't have any change with you, do you? Coins, you know? No, sorry. Beers. Okay. Are you f oh, it's just walking. It's broken an empty snack vending machine and I could eat a chocolate bar if I had money and coffee. So I need coins for coffee and chocolate. Hmm. Hmm. This is nice. I'm just gonna stay here for a second. Just gonna stand in the warm. Purple, welcome back. It's an incomplete ice sculpture. I can't quite make out what it's supposed to be. An owl, maybe? <clears throat> okay, so there's an ice sculpture in here and some fire. We just came from here, I think. It's locked. And you need the right combination to unlock this thing. Okay, what is this? No dice. The ice is blocking the way. An empty flower pot. So there's a flower pot, a blocked door with ice. This is the main area with the save point. I think this is where I came from. Hmm. Does anything work? With the camera. That's the front door. Anything work with this? Nice. The ice is gone. There's nothing I can use in the trash can. It's an old telephone. Don't care for it, apparently. No, 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 why can't you leave me be? I, I sorry, I, I I was looking for you, my bad. I, I, I don't understand, I don't understand. How could you? I don't know who I am anymore. I forgot my name, I forgot what I look like. It's an empty shell, nothing more. I just want to vanish into oblivion. Please leave me be. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay. Maybe I could help. Nothing I can use here. Strange apparatus. I have no idea what it is or what to do with it. There's a handwritten note on the table. I seem to have lost my name. I keep trying to remember my name, but I can't find it. Where am I? I can't remember how I got here. I will wait in silence. Eventually, I will fade away. That's pretty heavy. Well, that doesn't look too sturdy. Let's give it a push. What's that sticking out of the snow? I have a feeling that I'll need this. Maybe put the wooden handle in this apparatus? I better not. I, I thought... I'd think that you would put that there. Can I do anything now? Okay. Okay. What do I need a wooden apparatus for? Wooden... Hello? Put the wooden apparatus in the phone. Put it in the trash. Wait, it just went this way. Do I need a camera for anything? No. 
Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Wooden apparatus. Wooden apparatus. I'm just gonna stick this piece of wood in everything that I possibly can. Oh! Hello? Hi! Greetings. Did, did you find a- did you find a coin yet? Nope! I did not. I can't keep working unless I get my hourly dose of caffeine. Mm hmm Uh, what do you do anyway? I'm an ice sculptor. But as you can see, my hands are shaking. How am I supposed to work my art like this? Yeah, yeah, I can see. Why are you sculpting ice? It's difficult to put it into words. I heard you guys can't feel in the usual way. That's right. However, my urge to create is so strong it pushes through the barrier. When I'm creating my art, it's the closest thing to feeling again. I understand. My latest creation is almost ready. I only require some coffee to finish it. Well, I... I... I wish you luck. Uh, I'll find some coffee for you. Put it in there. Oh, shit. Put it in here. Okay. Guys, where do I put this thing in? Where do I put it in? Oh! <gasps> Maybe I put it in the machines! Put it in here. Put it in here. Okay, I put it in everything. I don't know what to do with it. Mm. Where do I put this fucking thing? Okay. Okay. Hmm. The flower pot? Put in the flower pot. Where do I put this piece of wood? Where do I put? Hmm. Hmm. Have I not touched something? Maybe there's something I haven't touched yet or done with the camera. Huh. Where do I put this? Wait, what? Put the wooden handle on the note. Put it in... Oh. There's a hole in the wall. Put the wooden... No. Can't put the wooden stick in the hole. Why is there a hole in the wall? Trash can... I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Oh. What a strange little box. Maybe I could open it. Oh! 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 I love puzzles! I love puzzles so freaking much! I love puzzles! A seed. I got a, I got a seed. Okay. Handle's missing. I have it. Okay. Chunk of ice. Oops. I forgot. I, I pressed it too soon. I don't know what she said. Three, five, five. Oh, I know where that goes. I know where three, five, five goes. I'm glad we couldn't have gotten that ice anywhere else. <laughs> three, five, five, three, five, five, three, five, five, three, five, five. Three. 
five. Five. Okay. Now what's inside? A bag of soil. Okay, we know where the little pot is. Excuse me. A little potting soil in there. And maybe some seeds. And then maybe a chunk of ice. There's some dry soil and a seed in the flower pot, but nothing is growing yet. I need to water the dry soil. Where can I find some water? Well, we've got a chunk of ice just sitting in our fucking pocket. So we just let that melt for a hot second, I imagine. Or we could uh, go to the fireplace. Ice. I don't want to risk burning the unknown object inside the ice. I could leave the chunk of ice next to the fireplace. How do I do that? Oh. I can melt the ice here. What are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to melt the ice. Is that, is that okay? Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I use that bowl for the same function. Yeah, this must be the only warm spot in this weird place. You bet. My air would melt otherwise. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Alright, the ice is melted. Isn't that a coin? Fuck yes. Okay, we can either... Are you looking for something? Yeah, I need some water. Do you have a container that I could use? No, not here. But I'm certain I saw a watering can in the room where the well was located. Why can't I just use this bucket? Seems logical. I have a coin, but I feel like I can use it either for caffeine or for chocolate. I think I'd rather use it for chocolate. Wait, how do I get the- didn't you say there was a bucket in here? Am I missing- ah ha 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 That was completely on accident. Okay. Weird. But it works. Okay. Take this, watering can, if I can fill that bad boy in there. Nice. All right, bye. Okay. And I've got a coin. Watering can. Soil's now wet. Maybe it needs sunlight. Oh. Can I, can I just pick it up? Can I just pick it up and put it in the room with sunlight? I know that we have sunlight somewhere. Like here. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. I need to go get caffeine. Coffee. Coin. Okay. I'm waiting patiently. I wait patiently. I wait patiently. I wait patiently. I'm waiting. It's done. All right. Just don't drop it. it goes okay. The fuck? Hey, hey, I know you. Did you find your cap? Do you see a cap on my head? God damn it! I'm sorry. I I I I, I didn't. Don't consume yourself. I'm from my cap. Uh, I'll let I'll let you know if I see it. Good luck. Much much watch. Okay. It's strange. I do like this mustache though. Hey, I have coffee. Here you go. There's no mistaking the aroma of the freshly roasted coffee. I could smell it before you enter the room. Can I have it, please? Sure, here. You're such a kind person. You have my gratitude. Happy to be of assistance. Please let me enjoy the coffee while it's still warm. I got something for you, but it will take a moment. You can wait by the fireplace. Okay.
The owl eye sculpture is ready. I'm happy for you. Did it turn out to be as great as you'd hoped it would? I suppose. You don't sound all that convinced. Well, I'm happy with how it turned out to be. But it may not be a masterpiece. The shape is too obvious, too effortless. I need something genuinely challenging to prove myself. What could that be? I do not know. I need to find inspiration. It must be something delicate, something fragile, something I can perfect. You already helped him, but I am babbling like an ungrateful fool. That, that, that's okay. Here, please, take this for your troubles. Oh. Thank, thank you. Are you sure you want to give this to me? I'm certain. I hope you find some use for it. I'm going to make this melt. I better not. Okay, moving on then. What do we have? We have an owl ice sculpture. What the fuck do we do with that? I think I'm going to put it in the sun and make it... What? Okay, anyway. Maybe I put it in the sun. Put... Put in... Put in sun. Hmm. Huh. The owl sculpture might fit here. It reflects light. Maybe I can control the angle of the beam? Oh, Vampy, thank you so much. I hope you had a good stream today. What did you guys get up to? We have come... We have came here in the name of the queen. Isn't it we've come here? Am I really- I'm- 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 I'm grammar correcting the- the right message. I'm- I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Everything is great. You're doing great! You guys are doing a good job! So good! We played Dark Souls 3. I love Dark Souls 3. That's a good one. I love Dark Souls. Can I have a shout out for Vampy? How are you doing? Hi! Oh god, you had a good stream. That makes me want to play Liza P! I want to play so bad! I just want to try to beat the boss really bad! <laughs> Press and hold air D to turn the device. Thank you so much, the raid. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good stream. Okay. We're gonna exit here. And go through here. Where's the B? There's a hole in the wall. Maybe we turn this again? Yeah, it looks like that. That's right. There's a hole in the wall. I've came here in the name of the queen. Oh my god. This isn't it, come. Come. Let's go through this. Ah. Huh. I have wet soil, seed, and some sunlight. Would you grow, please? Look at it go. Look at it go. It's just a little guy. It's beautiful. And fragile. And delicate. That's what he needs. Alright, let's give it to him. Do I go through here? And then through... No, that's not it. Through here. And then through here. And this guy. Here you go. Okay. 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 Yes, please... Please take it. What am I doing? I didn't read that dialogue at all. Hey. Chat, listen to me. How would you feel if now that we're about to hit four hours, we play some lies of P. Or maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't play Liza P. I feel like I'm just going to be banging my head against the wall with Liza P. Are you sure that we should? Are you sure? I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this boss, dude. I have tried with all of my might and I don't think that I can, so... I... I just wanna give it a shot. I just wanna give it a shot! Please let me try. Please. 
Okay, hang on. Liza P. I'm at the very end, guys. I have to get through it. Okay. I, maybe I just need your guys' support. Your love and support, and I will get through it. Huh? This is fine. Can we change the game to Eliza P, please? That game was good. I I liked um I liked After Dream, but I think it's a little bit too slow. The idea and the concept is fun and there's a little bit too much dialogue. But the dialogue is really well written. But I like it. It's a bit of a long form for me. Oh, I my controller's not plugged in. I'm so dumb. Also, let me go grab the dogs one second, guys. Never mind, they're asleep outside. They can stay there. Okay. Please, I want to beat this game so fucking bad. I want to beat this fucking game. Okay, so this is not my actual build. Uh, the main weapon that I have been using to fight this guy, I'm a dex build, so I've been using either, or trying, switching between the two dragon sword and the Uroboros. But I was looking up a guide, and I had combined the big puppet axe with the master chef, so that it was like a dexterity strength build. Um... And it seemed to work okay. I can get through the first phase absolutely no problem at all. But it's the second phase that I am struggling so freaking hard with, dude. Also, Ren, welcome back. So. This is the, the final, 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 final boss. Dragon Sword, this guy's really good. I, I think that's the way I'm going to be able to beat it. But it just doesn't do a lot of damage. It's like you have to really focus on parrying and dodging to get through it with the Dragon Sword. I, I hate the second phase, dude. I hate it so much. You become a real human. Come to me, my son. I also like you lose a lot of the uh What do you call it when you need to like sharpen? Also, I haven't played this in a few days, so sorry. Also my IH is Durability. I see, first phase is not really a problem. But I can't do the second phase. I can't do it. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. No, no, kill. Dang! Freak! Dang it. 
I think that it just takes far too long with the Dragon Swords or Ouroboros, dude. Uh, I could also spend a lot of time getting throwables and he'd be super easy because you just throw it and he gets his health down and you're done. But I guess I just didn't want to do that. That was the fastest I've ever beaten him. Holy cow. That was really fast. <laughs> okay, we got this. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. No, please don't touch. Don't touch. No, fuck you. God dang it. Focus. I got an itch. I can't! <laughs> I can't! God, I've already used like all of my fucking... Yeah, twat. I don't think I'm gonna do this run. I've already used too many health. Just kill me, kill me. Reset me, reset me! Come on! Hi, Gmar, how you doing, dude? Did you beat the game? How was it? I'm so welcome back for 14 months. Can you parry his attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can perfect parry. I'm just, I, I, can't, I'm so bad at perfect parrying. His the second phase. Come to me, my son. I never found you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. Just reset me. My bad. Yes, phase one is is quite easy, but it's the second phase that I just can't do. Hey, uh, this isn't even like the main weapon I've used in this entire game. I use the Dex Dragon Swords Dragon Build thing. Two days with many tries. Ah, shit. Oh my god. I was doing so good for a little bit. I bound you to the grand like the Oopsie. Puppets because of Carlo's memory. Wait, reset me? Reset. Just reset. Sorry. I beat this with like not using any health the past few times and all of a sudden I'm, I'm fucking shitting. Why do you swap weapon? Because I just- it wasn't doing enough fucking damage. Like, I got really frustrated because the fight was taking me so much longer. 
So I try to build like a strength dex and it's really, really good in the first phase. So like if I swap weapons and I go to use the weapon that I've been using the entire game, it's just a little bit more complicated in my opinion. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. I never bound you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. It just takes a little longer too. Please tell me you saw that. That was cheap. You're you're an asshole. What the fuck? Th touch this. Touch it. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Wait, why did I just forget how to play the game? What's the button to attack? Oh my god, just kill me. Uh -huh. I just think that the other weapon is just does more damage quicker. I can, I'm gonna try this again with this weapon. I don't know what happened. I, yeah, I was like, wait, how, I thought square was it. I think I'm under pressure with, with streaming it. <laughs> I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Come to me, my son. I never bound you to the grand cover like the other puppets because of Carlo's memory within you. I always feel like I'm doing it and then I'm not. No, I'm switching my weapons. How many of you guys have been in this game already? How many of you guys in chat have been it and you're like done done? Okay, this G Mart. And then Oh a new game plus. Beat this guy a few days ago. Come to me, my son. I never bound you at the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memory within you. Ready. Wait. Hold on. 
Jesus Christ. I can't. I can't do it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna actually pee in the pee game. I can't do it. I don't know why I'm getting so nervous. It's okay, it's okay. I'll keep trying. It's okay. I like this game though. I think that like with this weapon, the first phase is not so bad, but God, I can't figure out the second one at all. Thanks, Jmart. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. I never bound you to the Grand Cup like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. Oopsie. I was looking at my health. <laughs> more time, more time, more time. What what weapons did you guys use to beat this guy? I swear I've beaten this guy without using any fucking health pots. So I just gotta not be nervous. Katana. My fists. <laughs> this exact combo. I could level up this weapon. I shouldn't know if I liked it or not. Wait, what the fuck? This isn't fair. That that usually when you use the puppet string when he's ready to get staggered, you can do it. That was weird. Okay. Yeah, that 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 didn't really that's never happened before. That, that, that is count. <laughs> you can become a real human. Come to me, my son. I never bound you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. Oh, you're dodging it, eh? I need to be patient. Uh, re reset, reset. Just reset. Oh. Just reset me, bro. I, so it's really, really easy to close the gap with the dragon swords or the Ouroboros, but I don't know how to do it with strength-based weapons at all. Maybe if I also... You can become a real human. Come to me. Oops.
Oh, good start. Don't look at me! Oh god, this fucking fight blows my fucking mind. I love how the first three goes were like perfect, and then the more you try to fight a boss, the worse you get. <laughs> you can become a real human. <sighs> okay. Come to me. I never found you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memory within you. I know you have gone astray, you troublesome puppet. Ah, bah, bah, da, bah, da, bah. Okay. You and me. Nothing more. You and me. It's fine. You and me. Okay. I don't know how to block any of the I don't know <laughs> I just pressed the block button and nothing happens. I just turn into go. Had the ba ba da ba ba. Where's my mouse? I'm gonna try a different weapon after this. I think. Come to me, my son. Try to perfect parry. Try to perfect parry. I never bound you to the grand covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memory within you. And nicked on the side. <laughs> okay. How okay. Dare you. You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Eee! Oh, I'm fine. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I have to hit you just once. Just I have to do something. Oh, I'm so scared of this dude. <gasps> Let me just. There's once. Uh, uh, oh, come on. Just. 
Let me hit you just once in the. Uh, I'm sorry. Please just let me. Uh, oh God, please. This sucks. Just learn it. Just learn his fucking moves. Just learn, just learn, just do something, dude. I don't know, maybe now? Maybe now's good? No, now's not good! This guy's so hard, I don't, I don't have any more, I only have one left, I can't, I don't have stamina. I don't, it bounces when I, oh, I need a, I need a fucking, no, 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 no! <laughs> This dude's an asshole! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Everything's good and normal and fine and everything's good. It's so- it's so good. You can become a real human. Come to me. Why are you so mad? Every time. Every time. Every time I like... Wall. Wall. Electric is good against them. I just never have time because I'm too focused on not dying. Hi, Quiddy. How you doing, dude? Did you play this and beat this? Because I'm, I'm, I'm. I feel like you would have. Also, shouts to Quiddy. I hope you're doing well. You can become a real human. Come to me. Again. Now, I'll turn you into a By the way, I'm gonna stop 
answering everyone's questions or suggestions i'm just gonna play now so if you see me if i'm quiet it's because i'm i'm blatantly ignoring chat <laughs> it's just nicer that way you can become a real human Come except for quitting You took you 10 15 minutes, Quiddy? Of course. You're like the god at this kind of game. Quiddy's so good at Souls like games, man. No, you. No, you didn't. I should heal. Fuck. Fuck shit. Okay. I gotta see Quiddy fight this dude. I have a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah. Quiddy's super fucking like like boss mode at any Souls games, man. He's really, really, really good. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. I got I gotta stop doing that, bro. I gotta fucking stop. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch my ambulance real quick. What did you what weapon did you use, Quiddy, when you beat the game? You beat it with a katana? Damn it! I've used a katana the entire weapon until the very end. I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna try a strength build because I want to get this over with. I just want to beat the game. Um, I have never... I haven't built or used the strength weapon this entire game, dude. So I'm not really used to it. I can try with a katana after this. What just happened? Oh fuck, just fuck. I really fucked this one up. He just just reset. Just reset me. Let me try the katanas. I can't do it with the katanas for some reason. Hey dub is following me around. <laughs> Yeah, you must have good taste in streamers, it looks like. Oh, really? Bro, I did not know that, Yidi. What the hell? I had no fucking idea. Does anyone ever use the Ouroboros? Anyone? Anyone? No, no, no. You can become a real human. Come to me. I never found the grand cup. 
covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. Okay. I know you hey mods, you are so I'm you are so welcome. You're so welcome to time out anyone back saying like you're so welcome to do it. Like honestly, have a good time. Have a great time. Like just mm, this is your time to eat. Just mm, soak it up. Soak it up. Honestly, I brought this upon myself for streaming this, but I really, really, really want to beat it really bad. I'm like, well, if I'm gonna be doing this offline, I might as well just put it on my stream. You can become a real human. I can't do it with the katana, dude. Come to me, my son. I never bound you to the grand covenant like the other puppets because of Carlos' memories within you. My dumbass just like does a little dance. Apart here. Your freedom is not hmm. for you, but for Carlo. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm perfect pairing a little bit easier with a larger weapon. I'm not sure. No father wants to resort to the lash, but there's no other way. If it makes you feel better, I spent 2.5 um, on the first Phantom Library boss. Where is that? What, what, what boss is that? Yeah, the big weapons feel generous, like, overall with everything. I don't know. You can become a real human. Come to me. I never bound you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. I know you have gone astray. Troublesome little puppet. After I lost you, my life was full of nothing but regret. How dare you? Hmm. I hate this face. I can't. I should put it, put it, put
Okay, again, again, again. Again, 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 again. <sighs> Got my heart rate monitor on. Jesus Christ. Buddy, thanks for cheering me on. I know you're so freaking good at this game. <laughs> You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. I never bound you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. some little puppet. He's so mad. If you can't find those eyes, I'll make you into a real human myself. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Okay, I get it. I get it. Oh. Fucking shit face fuck face fuck balls shit. to me my son I never found you in the grand covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories of you I know you have gone some little puppet. Your freedom is not for you.
to resort to the flash. But there's no other way. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Yes, B. I'm trying to. I'm trying so hard to learn his fucking moves, but they're so fluid and so quick and like just a flurry of different things all at once. This dude is insane, I know! <laughs> I'm so determined. I was told if you beat this boss tonight, you'd meet the love of your life sometime in the future. Just saying. <laughs> okay. You can become a real Start throwing out random blocks? I can try it. I'm so Come bad at blocking a second phase. Oh my god, just fucking reset. Oops, I don't understand. Oh shit. Like during a flurry, I'm just praying to to parry one or two of them. Yeah, they're so they're so fucking fast, dude. They're so fast. E. Okay, let me try putting this back at... Oh, no, I am. I am here. Just like, but I keep on perfect pairing without attacking, and I think that's the problem. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. Like, I, how do I close the gap after, like, he's hit me a few times, I've blocked, I've perfect parried, and I'm a certain distance away from him? I know you have gone that was an actual question. Troublesome little puppet. He just gets so the mad after a while. I'm using the other sword. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I feel like when I perfect parry, it puts me like really far away and you, I take a step back and I don't know how to close the gap to like use that time that he's like recovering. Memories within you. 
troublesome little puppet. Your freedom is not for you. Just a puppet. Nothing more. I always feel like I'm gonna get it and then I don't. He's just absolutely fucking annihilating me. You scare me. You scare the shit out of me, dude. I'm just gonna try to block. Oh, I need. I need to. Oh God, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? So this weapon loses durability really really fucking fast like big time big time ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. i can do this i can do this what if what if okay what if okay hear me out hear me out what if i don't think i have a i don't think i can upgrade this actually just kidding this is the run oh god i don't know I'm a real human come to me Oops, I thought I had that. Your freedom is not for you, but for Carlo. No father wants to resort to the lash, but there's no other way to break it. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. I found as an advanced build that perfect pairing everything was a detriment to me. Yeah, so I feel like if you're a dex and more so advanced, perfect pairing is just like so fucking hard. If you're just a strength build and you went straight strength and you had a giant ass fucking weapon and everything was just damage, it was easy mode, I think, with this game. I thought Fable Arts was supposed to... I shouldn't have wasted that. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Okay. Nothing more.
Nope. I don't know why I try to block that. I've been playing straight decks this whole game. And I'm baffled seeing blocking actually work. I know. I know, right? As a dex build, it's just like... Like you just it's like hard mode, bro. I Okay. 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 I can do this. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. It's fine. I it's fine. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. Is this this space that time right there? I never bound you to the grand covenant like the other puppets. And it's like you do more damage when you do perfect parries, but how do I close that gap? It's super annoying. Oh, I just wasted all of that. I love that. I love wasting. This is not the run. This is not the run. Fuck you! If you can't find those memories, I'll make you a real human myself. No, don't do oh why did I do that? Don't do that. Don't waste it. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. It's gonna eat cheap! <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. No, no, no. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm alive. I'm not alive. I'm alive. Heal, maybe. Maybe heal. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, I can do this again. This is so sad. Come to me, my son. I never found you the grand cover like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. Okay, this is where it gets me every time. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, come on. You can do this. No, I can't. Okay, just let him... I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm done. I think I'm done. <laughs> and then I'm done. 
I don't know if I'm ever going to beat this guy, dude. I have electricity grinder, but I never have. I feel like I don't have time. Come to me, my son. I never found you in the covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. Oopsie, that was my bad. Yeah, Geppetto's in my ear, dude. Come on, come on, don't do the thing, don't do the thing, don't do it. Okay. I can do this. Yeah, every time I... It's, uh, eh. he's too fast. He's too fast for me. I can do it. Thanks for trying to watch and cheer me on, though. I appreciate it. I end up dodging more than guarding near the end of this game. I might give it another shot in the future, but I don't- I think I want to try a little bit every day until I get it. But yeah, first phase is not really a problem depending on what weapon, but I don't know what it is about the second phase that I just can't figure out. I think that there's a certain pause before all of his moves where you can dodge it no problem. But then I'm thinking if you perfect parry them or find a way to do that, then you get his stagger on a little bit quicker. But then he also used pots, so it's just- I don't know. Thanks, Quiddy. I can't believe you're still hanging around. I appreciate that, man. Um, I forgot what we're doing tomorrow, but I will be streaming tomorrow. And I'll see- Oh, wait. I'm streaming with tomato. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. It's been a long week. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Where, where do you want me to throw you? You know what? Chibidoki is playing some horror games. Should bring you over there. All right, I appreciate you guys very, very much. Thank you so much for the wonderful stream. I appreciate it. It's good to be back, and I will see you guys uh, bright and early tomorrow.